Ladies, welcome back to another fun sighting session of Ports in the North. When last we left off, uh, our intrepid murder hobos. Sorry, it will be like occasionally noisy outside. It's fucking boiling, so my balcony is open. Um, our intrepid murder hobos killed their way through an entire barrow den. And probably the. It was very. It was not the smart. It was definitely the least intelligent way to go about it, but it was definitely efficient. It was quick. It this, was this, definitely this was quick. A huge time saver. This could have taken like two or three sessions otherwise. No, it couldn't. Yeah. It just would have been split up into short rests or something, and you wouldn't have had to destroy every wall you passed through by, by the end. Ah, uh, it went well. It went well. Yeah, it went. No one's dead, so, you know, congratulations. Yeah. Did yeah. anyone even go unconscious? Uh, there's no dynamic lighting. I'm scared. No. I, I turned the dynamic lighting off because this was that you cleared this place out. Yeah. Did we get I'm, not gonna leave, the... I'm not going to leave dynamic lighting on um, because it does things like eat up your processing power. No one went Unlike unconscious. Unlike all the other times we left it off. I basically used up all my spells, though. Yeah, you guys are pretty resource tapped. I mean, that's good. That means we did a good job. Maximum efficiency. Yeah, we did good. Yeah. I think I'm at, and I'm out of rages too, so... Wow. We did it. Now you're zen. You're a rageless <laughs> barbarian. All is at peace with the wild. <laughs> Until yeah. I go to bed again and wake up grumpy. You mean with morning? Love it. Well, I mean, Same that's thing. actually true now. That's how, yeah. barbarian, I have that curse. that's how barbarians charge up. I have that quote unquote. Sleep and wake up a piss. I have this quote unquote curse for another what two months? It's like four months long, I think. Yeah, basically. Uh, oh, sorry, you do have that one curse. I forgot about it. Insight. Oh, okay. Sorry, Kellen. I would have wingman okay, if, if I. I, I would have wingman if I knew that she was into you. I really wouldn't. Mm. But yeah, let's see. You rescued Brenov, the tiefling, although he currently has a maximum hit points of 15 uh, because he was exsanguinated. It's fine, he just needs some more juice. And his companion, the weird tiger, uh, Raylessa, who, uh, while she was it trapped inside a tomb of her own, uh, drank a fuck ton of potions. So she clambered out basically at full health, but the fight was over. Uh, she uh, is a warlock alchemist. Neat. A member of the alchemist's guild, which is partly why she had so fucking many potions. She made him herself. Yeah. And now the last action that was performed was some inspection of a little bit of magical equipment, which I know you guys are always big fans of. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right! So, let me... Turn that on. And... No. Only by right-handed people. Mm -hmm. First up, the oh, Duelist's fuck. Gauntlet. This gauntlet of leather is covered in thin metal plates, and it jingles gently. It fills you with confidence and determination. Uh, it has to be attuned to by right-handed people. However, it is a left-handed glove. While wielding nothing but a one-handed weapon, and the other is empty, except for this gauntlet, you gain a plus one bonus to attacks and attack damage with that weapon. This does not make the weapon magical. So, you would hold a weapon in your right hand, you have the gauntlet on your left, and stabbo for better stabbos. Hmm. I'd have that to attune to something. Probably, probably my oh. bit, unfortunately. Probably your what? Probably my whip, it doesn't really do much. Indeed, you used to whip it good. Mm. Okay. Yeah, but, but my uh, my rapier is just better. It is a very good rapier. Yeah. Okay. And the Ashlander currently it is broken. It will be needed reforging, but it was an old hand and a half sword covered in skaldic runes. The touch was ice and death, but legends say she was broken on the teeth of a beast from the deeps. The Eldritch still keenly seeks out the Ashlander, however, and her wielders through the ages were great warriors. 
This blade does not br weakness and cannot be used to deal non-lethal damage. It has two secrets, and you will gradually learn while you are attuned to it. And this is currently nothing but a hilt. Yep, the blade requires reforging. Uh, I close. Still attuned to the hilt, or do you have to reforge first? Yeah, let me run it again for you. Uh, I don't. I don't need this. I have a way better sword. The only people <clears> who can really use it are uh, me and Eloy, I guess, because it's a long sword, presumably. Yes, it's a. It is, in fact, a very powerful longsword. It will fail critically on a one or a two when it's wielded in one hand, however, because it's a hand and a half blade. No, wait, can't... Uh, uh, what's the name of that? Uh, Weapon? Mm, why would Athia, sorry? Mm, what? No, can't Athia use longswords? Uh... Actually, I think it's a bard. I, you, wait, you're bars proficient, get? but they are not finesse weapons. Yeah, yeah I'm it's proficient, not a good, it's not a good choice. Yeah, yeah. just I'd like Ellen is also mod. proficient, but you know. I'm not proficient, actually. I traded that in for whips. Oh, that's right. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oops, shit, I hit the button again. Uh, when reforged, the blade will be a one d ten plus one longsword. It fails critically on a 1 and a 2 when it is wielded in one hand. There you go. Hmm. Isn't Russian so going to kick each other in a deck? Yes. No, that's it's rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> no, that's... <laughs> I, and I knew, yeah. and I knew exactly what Saban was doing. But no, it's rock, paper, scissors. Literally everyone knows. You're all retarded. <laughs> no. I was really hoping Kara could just a kick you in the dick <laughs> and just it. kick her right in the nerds. I, Mine. I, I, knew it, I knew it was a trap. Damn it. Oh. You yeah, shouldn't have so... said square up. Thought. <laughs> square up thought. Goodness. All right. And those are the magical items you find. I believe that your um, your company Jew has already added all the money to the party late. Yep, small diamonds, silver medallions. There's been some with rubies. Funerary garb, garb, and yeah, okay, cool. So yeah, it's super shiny. So let's clear out the rest of this place. Sure. Uh, if you would like to, you can make an extended go of it as an investigation test. Uh, the tiger will assist you, although Brain Elf is currently having a nap. Uh, yeah. So you guys can split up, so some people investigate with advantage from someone or investigate on their own. But please do say before you start rolling, otherwise I'll be like, you did it on your own. It okay. is, uh... I'll help someone. I got it. Uh, no, uh, is 14 enough to pass it insight to know that she's in? Hmm, let's see here. I'll try a deception check. I mean, let's face it, a warlock probably actually pretty fucking good at them in this setting. Especially yeah, if they're a I think Theory had like a plus 6 or something at base. She is, she is very sneaky about giving the squeaky the cockeye. <laughs> Yeah, Darn. Um, you cannot use Guidance or Bardex on an extended test. I know, I'm I'll, just putting I'll it help. there so Hedra doesn't get on us about it. <laughs> I can help someone do their investigation. Yeah, I've got a uh, plus four if somebody wants to help me with it. Yeah, oh. sure. Oh, oh, man, so, okay. Yeah, someone hand, me my, someone hand me something for my plus eight. <laughs> All right, okay. Someone poured like vinegar in the toilet. Sounds like I, I, I apologize about that. My dad is exceptionally loud. You could hear him from like 20 feet away. Maybe make a line of okay. people who are investigating up here so we know who's assisting who. Yeah. Okay, cool. I have a plus six investigation. Well, really, I would love to help you. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Oh. Tilt her head. I. 
apologize, little one. Are you afraid of me by any chance? You know, we don't actually eat mice people. <laughs> Going even further into the wall. <laughs> Oh, she sees your spooks. Maybe she'll try and persuade and look innocent. Not as high as her. Disadvantage. Yeah. All right. Sure. Uh, she's not quite as good at it as she is her insights and deceptions, but you know. You dropped a natural Ooh. twenty. Oh, for a four. I dropped a natural twenty for a four. I'm so, so sad. For everyone else, uh, your panties just get moist. But yeah, like uh, you, you, everyone else watching sees her put on like the most innocent kitty expression, and like she's probably like running a hand down her abdomen. She's got like a very soft, plush looking fur, although it's covered, just... covered in crypt dust. Okay, yeah, I you want to help her? Again. I'll help you, Maddie. Just hides behind oh. Madeline. Oh, poor thing. I apologize for scaring your other companion. Oh. You can make it up to us by letting me pet your fur. It looks so soft. That is exactly what I was. What I was at Mad. Yeah, mm -hmm. she will. Uh, boop. Well, she she would try to boop you on the snoop, but you're also very tall with her tail. Uh, and then she will go. Tell you what, I happen to make rather good shampoo, and right now I'm covered in crypt dirt. Uh, perhaps if your other little friend there would like to help me wash up later, you can all have a, a nice pet afterwards. I'll need a brushing, I'm sure. Which, Kellen, which other I think little friend? You. Yeah, you <laughs> might be uh, into this. Ooh, let's, hey. Yeah, let's grab him by the arms, LOA. <laughs> <laughs> no, <you didn't. laughs> Throw him into her. No, uh, you could do your investigations fast. Uh, Relessa will do her best to avoid the scared mouse. Okay, so who's yes. assisting me here? I need to take a nap. They stole my life force. I think. Right. I guess Ella yes, can take did. a nap, and then I'll help Athia, and Relessa can help uh, Kellen. Oh, no, help uh, me. There is a spare camp bed. Brenyolf is sleeping in his, completely I not was... giving a fuck about his own blood everywhere. You I was trying to get across, but the dynamic lighting still prevents me from moving. Oh, that's true, yeah. You can't just still can't push through walls. Well, I guess I had a Relessus help, right? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. Yep. You have a Relessus. I've got a Sarah Wynn and uh, Madeline's. Maddie's got Madeline's. Oh, yep. <laughs> Maddie and Madeline. <laughs> I hate it so much. <laughs> Jesus hey. Christ, you guys do not. You're very good at this. Wow. This is it's not your first. This is not your first crypt rodeo. Yeah, it's not well, our first obviously archaeology. Obviously not. How offended that you think it might be. Okay. You got the fucking rats on the leash just sniffing out the gold. What the hell did you expect? <laughs> mm, this is a good point. All right. So, there are still some, like, very old blades um, that weren't pulled out of their coffin, so you can add two more masterwork blades to your party loot. That's still intact. Neat. Let us see here. And you find, contained in a box of metal, although the outside of the box is very tarnished, there's a lock on it, but it's 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 rusted to crap now. You can just clink and snap it off and open the box up. You find a book. It is an old, old book. And you can... Like you, you know that ozone smell of a thunderstorm. Yeah, like you smell that when this book is revealed, uh, and Ooh. you can see that this is. Uh, in fact, who would like to give me religion checks? Uh, religion. Natalie? Religion. religion. Yeah, I'll oh. help. I'll hey. help. Yeah, sure. Oh, I helped. Uh, I might know a thing or two about religion. Anybody want to assist me? I'll assist you. Hmm. Okay. Um, you're, you know, well educated as yourself as well. Um, so you recognize Asmundite symbology on it. Um, however, there are old markings on the inside of tome, like. Even for people who were Asmundites, like anything written, quote unquote, would have been temporary, like scrolls. It's why their old symbol is an open scroll case. Like, 
the only paper they used was temporary, and it was so that they could cast spells or pass messages and they would be burned. This is an actual written book, uh, and the inside isn't written on paper, but it looks like someone has essentially uh, like cross-stitched words into it instead, so it probably took an exceptionally long time to, like, you know, with needle and thread, stitch together this, this book so that it stays as one cohesive thing. How hard for Asmund? Yeah, yeah. Um, you're not used to seeing, and indeed no one is used to seeing any kind of Asmundite knowledge in written form. I mean, staged, written, whatever. Still written form, you know how it is. Right, yeah. Um, not used to seeing that. Uh, nobody is. Uh, this would probably go for an exceptional amount of money to, like, you know, really powerful clerics of the Asmundite Mysteries. Uh, as for where one of those would be, let's see here. Just pop you over to the map very briefly. There is a member of the Asmundite Mysteries in First Holding. In First Holding? Where is First Holding at? Uh, to the north and west of Ashenholds. Ah, there it is. I see it. They would they would give you a lot of money for it. Other clerics would totally pay you for it as well. But if you're looking for anyone who can afford to, uh, you know, pay you what it's worth, it's going to be the head of the Asmundite Mysteries in First Holding. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. That sounds like a road trip. Well, well yeah. we do have to go that way anyway. Yeah, we we'll need to go everywhere go anyway. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, like the like it seems like the road trip right now is from here back to Freelands over to here, back this way, through over here, to That's here. That's about right. I believe you want to stop at Telmgardun on the way. Or oh, yeah. also... So that you I can... Yeah. All it. There, yeah. It's What's quite... that? Well, let me, let me Take a trip a... to Ashenholds? Uh, you could probably go for a while you're at Telmgardun, go down to Ashenholds and back. Yes. <laughs> That's right, yeah. Madeline's trying to inspect it. Caradwen's helping by standing above her in the tit shelf. This is blinding her. Her horns help hold it up, you know. Actually. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we could just skip Salamander Island through this stuff. No. No, but there's a great beast there we could go and kill. Yeah. And we already if and we, we already told we can't. And we already told Scow that we're going there, so she likely has that prepared. Not this. Yeah. I I do have that prepared. Yeah. I do not I'd, have your road trip prepared. I'd like to go to Salamander Isle. There, it has that for the road trip. No, we're going to fucking look, Ireland. Look at the and, fucking. And it goes you up see to... how it goes. Oh, oh nice. That's actually a lot better. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty doable. You'd be able to see uh, Queen Astrid and Talon Gudrun. And yeah. we'd be able to go tell Theory all about her. Oh, well, all about the end of the killing. Baby, baby, baby's first day as well. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm still, I'm still so reticent. Go to Maddie's thing down here. Go up here. See the queen and get the our, our uh, carriage and wagon. I fucking thought Astra was in Fixed. Infernus. And it was, was she in Astra is in Tall Gardoon. One of the two. I don't know. I want to see both of them, so whatever. I yeah, so do I. I mean, she can call, like, whoever you see at Talongardun, they can call the other to come visit. Like, it's not as long a distance for them, and they can just whiz it around. This is true. You don't have to worry that much. If you turn up at Talongardun, Astrid can come down and see you. Sorry, the Astrid can come down and see you. Astrid is there at Talongardun, where her home is. Okay. Mm, you, okay. Know what, you know what spell is really useful? All the no, so many. Overland Literally. Flight. Yeah. That's a really hot. That's a high level spell, though. I know, but it's still one of the best fucking transport spells. I can show no, you the it's world. Game. <laughs> in the game. Go away. Yeah. Okay. I mean, yeah. Uh, sure, that looks like a totally reasonable journey, and I'll be able to keep that in mind for next time. Mm -hmm. But for now, back to the Freelands if we're done looting this place. I don't think we're not done looting. Why? You had uh, some very good investigations between you. Oh. So you found, uh, you know, a couple more swords, and you found this Asmundite book. You find, let's see here, a scroll case. Ooh. Uh, Ooh. The scroll case itself 
is um, it's cold to the touch, like icy cold. You know, it's got like loads of hoarfrost on it. Oh, right, so ever to use the phrase hoarfrost around you people, but you know. Uh, yeah, this 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 scroll case is very very cold to touch. Mm -hmm. You can see it has uh, it's, it appears to be made entirely of solid silver, and there is a frozen lump of melted wax keeping it sealed. Hmm. Does it look like there's anything inside of it right now, or is it just a scroll uh, case? Yeah, how you have it is sealed. It could have rattle, stuff in it. Rattle, could be rattle. empty. Uh, I thought it had like some sort of like glass or something like that. You could look into it. I would imagine that there's something inside, and whatever is inside is making it is what's keeping it. I bet it's like a frost genie or something. Hmm. Is there any markings on the outside? Uh, asthma diet holy symbols. Just asthma diet holy symbols. And it's just wax uh, sealing it up right now? Yeah, a frozen lump of wax. Let's mm. not open it yet. Yeah. Let's just hold on to it for now. And again, maybe there's something in the book that would say what this thing is. Hmm. It's not entirely impossible. What what language was the book written in, Scout? Is it common or...? Uh, yeah, it's common. You can see that there is some deep speech, like, um... Almost like description. So you know when someone writes a book and then there's postscript? It looks right. like a portion of this book is like just uh, just glancing through it. Like it'll take a serious time to sit down and read through it, especially since cross stitch isn't the easiest thing in the world to read. Uh, but it's almost like there is like postscript to a number of entries that have been made in deep speech. Hmm. How interesting. Deep speech is like drove or. Uh, deep speech uh, is 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 uh, uh yeah like Cthulhu -y. it's Eldritch and Warlocky. Okay, Eldritch. Do you know? Actually, do any of you know how to read deep speech? No, I unfortunately, don't. not no. The big tiger does. Ooh, very impressive. Should try. I'm a warlock. Of course, I can speak it. Mm. Well, I mm. suppose that's not of course. Not everyone. Gains the powers the same way, I suppose. It's a very different art all the way around. But my connections, yes, I'm I'm capable. Wonderful. Yeah. Uh, and she would be happy to go through it with you guys on the journey back to the freelance and hang around if you're staying there for a few days. Yes, I. Never She's sure a writing specialist, a, a, a writing specialist amongst you somewhere. Everyone I only specialize in one. maps. Oh, you make maps! How lovely. Yep. I did have a personal project I would like to work on, but it would take some. It would take a good deal of time. I definitely need a few days to uh, get my outfits and everything readjusted. As well as uh, preparations to visit Salamander Isle. I can't do any kind of like research or anything while traveling. Right. I was that was a question. Oh. So I was asking Scout. Do we have to? Do I, if I want to research a spell, do I have to stay in it in any town, or can we do it um, on the road, you, like while you, I'm in my car? If you're like, you know, you're sat in your carriage, it's comfortable. Uh, as long as you have all the reagents and things that you would require for the spell, and possibly like twice that amount, so that you can, you know, fuck up whilst you're learning and experimenting. Mm, then yeah, you can I'm make progress to, as you travel. I'll have to buy a lot, a good stockpile of things. Always middle of the road. Yeah. Um, let's see here. No, it looks like mostly inside those other urns are personal effects amongst their ashes. Anything valuable? Not really, no. Most of it's been ruined by time in the first place. Ew. You find no spookers in them either. 
poo. Are we going to take the time to pry open all of these caskets? I assume that's what our investigation check just was. Is that? Yeah, yeah, I yeah think you, it, all was. Was, it was an extended okay. test. You did, in fact, spend the time to go through them all. Uh, and you came out with two more swords that are worth anything at all. Which is why you she know. said extended, so you guys couldn't throw, like, guidance on it. Yeah. And I also know. because I couldn't yes. be bothered with the faff of going fucking stone by stone. But there's more! Dink. Just oh, okay. pointing out, it's easier for people to not get confused when you say extended test. Did you say extended ransack? Oh, sorry. Yes, you're right. Extended smash and grab. And then you just get a, get a burlap sack with a dollar sign on it and start sweeping shit off the mantelpiece place into it. It's payday, <laughs> motherfuckers. You find some fucking uh... shoes on a corpse that are still intact. You're like, oh, yeah, them too. Boy, get the fuck up. Okay, DCL. Calm down. All right, I guess we can get out of here then. Okay. I am going... As we are going, I am going to just drop that to zero. I'm going to, and, and every time we take something, remove something from one of these caskets, I'm going to put a, a gold piece in on into the hands of the skeleton that was in. Uh, or to in, be fair, in most of those corpses are scattered yes. out across the ground where you fucking wrecked. Oh them. well, shit. Oh well, mm. I'll still put it in. Okay. As an offering to. Usually silver still... is the way to go. Silver? Mostly. That yes. is traditional, the, the obol for Karen. Okay, then uh -huh. it'll be silver then. <laughs> How late I'll, just deduct, I'll, just deduct, deduct, like, I'll just deduct like 28. Uh, yes, he's 28 taking the dollar. Okay, I will remove them from party inventory. Oh, I was going to just do it. Alright, um... How much is the silver inlaid chain worth and the uh, platinum asmondite symbol? Just so I can start calculating um, how much money we get from this place. You're not sure how's, how though, like, are any of you particularly good in the ways of appraising? Everyone looks at you Maddie. market minded. Kellen, uh... well, Kellen, Kellen or Maddie? To... I know how to craft a lot of that shit. Yeah, sure. Uh, you can give me a Tinker's Tool test. You could you could give them the like worthwhile weight. Okay. Oh, one so, of my background yeah. features is if it's over a century old, I can immediately appraise it. Oh fuck! Never mind then. Uh, oh. Kellen, oh, yeah, you can but... you yeah you've got the you've got the feature for literally this thing that I asked you to do. So I was like, it's weird that there's no skill for it, and I realized, oh right, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's see here. And peeping your party See? List. The perfect. silver inlaid chain. It is worth 75 GP. Okay. Man, that seems low, but alright. And the symbol? The symbol is worth 220 gold. Alright. Again, that would have to be sold to the right person. You could probably get that same Asmodite who would want the book. To purchase that off of you for two twenty. Okay, and I assume uh, studded leather and masked long swords are the three hundred plus whatever base value. Yep. Okay. Let's see. Okay, how much is studded leather? Forty. I think it's something like that. Okay, I think that's everything we're planning on selling evaluated. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. All right. Well, we should probably take a long rest here and then depart in the. Can we take a long rest outside of this place so that we don't get spoopumed? And there's a camp already. I mean, if we want to move the camp outside. Yeah, that'll. Yes. They, there's like some groggy complaining from the tiefling who's like just lying in his own semi-blooded <laughs> fucking... That's why we're moving out of here. Bed. Like, uh, uh, they'll let you... Yeah, LOA is also asleep, so you'll have to sort of drag her out. I mean, truth be told, if we stay down here, we won't have to worry about uh, elements uh, ripping up the camp. 
Yes, it uh, rained Shelter. previously, so we decided why not just camp in the front room. Uh, this was before anything spooky happened. Say, Miss Rayalessa, your friend here mentioned that some women were the ones that came, came for you. Yeah, remember those girls that we Were came. they the ones, those ghostly ones? The ghost brides or whatever they were. Shield brides? I, Shield wives, I believe the term. believe while you were dealing them? with them, I was still very much trapped inside a coffin. So I did so, see them. Hmm. I'll describe them. No, that wouldn't be them. So someone else attacked your camp and dragged you off. That's very concerning. And that's why we shouldn't camp in here. Let's go. Dun, dun, dun. Mm. Yeah. yeah. It is going to be gradually getting dark outside. And indeed, not long after you set up camp, you swear you can hear, like, footsteps and people moving in the barrow den beneath. Mm. It's not silent in there. Uh, that's very concerning. Perhaps we should go back in. Try and ambush our would-be ambushers. I would half expect it to actually be those... All those whites you know, picking themselves back up and going back into their... T you could just close the door. No, there could be more undead about. Yes, and if we close the door, now that can't get out. That There's still undead then in there, the though. Door. Yes. Mm. They need to be purged. It... Hold on. Yeah, I I've seen I remember Siri, Siri, Carrie, Siri, Carrie. Go up to the door, and why don't you focus really hard on it and think and like try to sense them. All right. Yeah. Okay. Carrie will go up to the door, plant her hammer between her feet, and attempt to divine sense down the stairs and inside for so if there are undead demons or celestials within sixty feet, she shall detect them. Yeah, uh, you detect uh, undeath and celestial. There are celestials and undead. Hmm. Something foul oh. is afoot. We must go. And uh, she's going to start making like she's going to go down there. Wait, so, not... Wait, hold on are... just a minute. We are all very tired from our, our excur previous excursion. We probably shouldn't should at least wait until the morning to take a look. Whatever's going down there might not be there come morning. They only attacked at night. Hmm. And you'd go in there without all of us at the time. And the way over there is already just sleeping, and I don't see her moving anytime soon. And I if I have think to, I promise to. The undead. Uh, I take a lady a bath. That can wait. So can your nap. Undead! Purge! No! Yes. Listen, Sari. Sure, the undead need to be purged, but you can't expect to just go from fight to fight to fight without being exhausted and tired and making a slip-up that will end up with you getting killed. Or one of us getting killed. Fine, but I'm not leaving yeah. this door until we go back in there. I won't let anything get out. That's why you close it. You they can just close. open it again. Not if you're blocking it. With what? Well, I have this handy dandy forge. Stick the forge in front of the door. Wait, what? What? You, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, you don't, you don't have, have the, forge. the forge. Yeah, we don't have the we forge. Don't have it's a um overload. All right. All We're right. Bash, bash, I have this handy dandy crate of yellow shots. <laughs> I, uh, I, I think, think the undead can go through the crate of yellow shots. 
Like, yeah, but we all fucking notice it. Yeah. Look, I'm just gonna post up here. You guys sleep if you need to, and then yeah, tomorrow we can go back in and see what's happened. We aren't exactly in a hurry, so we could always also wait until tomorrow night. If, if they do only come out, if they do only come out during the night. Look, there's. I mean, you have a current hit points box. You just I know, but I have math. to manually math it. Fine. Okay, thank you. Mm. Okay. Nice. Plus eight. So, is that our plan then? We're just gonna stay here till the next night then? I'd like to look inside in the morning and see if whatever's down there is down there, but if we have to wait till the night, then so be it. There is definitely something odd going on here. Yeah. It might be best to just play it safe and see. I mean, why did I sense Celestials down there? That doesn't make any that sense. Is a question. That is... I don't really know. You oh. were sure it was hmm. down there? Yes. Hmm. I have... Hmm. All right. So does anything prevent us from getting our long rest, Scow? No, you are left in peace. Okay. I'll just take my spells back up then. Actually, wait. Uh, oh, no, too late now. Alright, so come morning. Let's go poke our heads back in and see what's happened. Yeah. Kina. Let's be careful about this. Mm -hmm. Spend your hit dice before and then regain. You're not that full um, Yeah, you're not full. <laughs> also, yes, do I do I get the opportunity to pet Fluffy Tiger? Yes, she will have herself. She pulls out like a collapsible bathtub and will slowly fill it with water, uh, and then we'll gradually heat it up with like a produced flame that she just sort of runs across the side of this collapsible bar. Uh, and then yeah, pulls out a bottle of very nice smelling, um, like vaguely flowery shampoo. And she'll get herself a scrub down and we'll steal your mouse to help her with the scrub down. Uh, and then afterwards, uh, yeah. She'll need a, a good old-fashioned brush down afterwards. She is more than happy to let you pet the kitty. Yes. Brushy, brushy, bitch. <laughs> oh, poor Brain Elf gets back two of his missing maximum hit points. Nice. Yeah, he sure did not have any hit dice left to spend. He has those back now, but... <laughs> I will give him two hit points before we go down. Oh no, he's going to leave going down to you. You know, he's perfectly capable of staying watch up top. Yeah, no, I mean, I don't expect him to go down, but I am going to give him two hit points uh, okay. anyway. Yeah, sure. We Wait, will, so we will accept two are we going down in the morning? Or yeah, are in we the going morning. Down at night? Okay. We're going in the morning to take a look first off. Huh. Do you sense anything? The whites are still strewn about. Dead. No, they aren't. Oh, and well, their tokens are still there. They've been moved back to their core. Yeah. Back to their, their caskets. Their, ca their caskets rest half open, and the uh -huh. bodies have been moved into them. Like, don't, don't move. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I'm going no, to put my hands together and sense. 
for Celestial sure. Fiends and Undead. You are like literally looking at these bodies in their caskets and they are not pinging on your undeath radar. Indeed, when you have a feel around, this place doesn't feel desecrated anymore. Hmm. The desecration in this place, it's worn off. And Maybe. the whites... The... Me. The you said you said them. you sent celestials, right? Maybe holy angels came and put them back to sleep. The Valkyries have come. I'm gonna. That's exactly what I'm like religioning. Like, does this yeah, sound uh, like you would, you would have advantage? Your mother was a member of the Raven Queen. Oh yes, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's yes, you end. child child of the Raven Queen's chosen put silver in the hands of these dead. Oh, someone hey. came in the night and took them that on to the I... final rest. Oh, hey, that thing I did. Oh, hey. Oh, the Woo! silver you thing. You missed. A, you missed. You missed a chance to see a member of the Raven Court come by. Shit. Uh, okay. God oh, well. damn it. Okay. Well. All right. Then, in that case, I'll think about it for a while and nod my head. I okay. I I know what happened here. It all makes sense. I'll explain that. It was the the offerings made to the dead uh, were acted as a signal to the caretakers of the afterlife, I suppose. So and they, I they came was to right. settle the spirits here. So I was right again. Let's go. Galloway was correct. She's been very good at being correct this dungeon. Yes, mm. yes, you were correct. Now let's go. I'm not sure how long this stuff will actually stay on me still. Right. All right. So I guess everything's what you're purged saying here. Is that Everything has so been set we right. Make sure to not be in a funeral procession. Oh, what? Sorry. So, yeah, Dad. Yeah, meow, meow. Like, oh, right. I sorry. I I sh I shag you up on that way. What? Who? What? My bad. You get the she like she like mouse. she like she yeah, she like turned around to ask you a question and immediately forgot that you're petrified of her. Oh right. Where did I? Oh, I have a mouse on me. Oh, I have a mouse on my back. Adventure. Back to the oh. feelings. She's just saying that. Well, she was trying to say that it would be more like a holy funeral procession going on there. That's what we missed, so, yeah. Apparently, yeah. yes. Are you we missed, supposed to even see that? Well, we could have if we'd gone down there. Now, were we supposed to not be like, oh, we are the gods, you shall not mm. gaze upon mm. our, up this stuff. You're on blind hind... forever. No, on hindsight, thinking about it, it would have been okay. Didn't realize it at the time, just what was happening, but it would have been safe enough for us to go down. Well, oh. either way, we missed it. Uh, let's get a boom on then. It's a shame they all have standing orders to give Madeline a cuppy cake. Oh no! Oh, see, <laughs> that's what you get for cock blocking me out of the fun. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> we made the responsible choice the party was down pretty well and we didn't know what was in there it's true you did not know that it was a member of the raven court Look, it was Nor a responsible choice a it was cake. a correct choice but it wasn't the fun choice it was a smart thing to do not fun. now let's get back to town so I can do hey actually speaking of, of things uh, could I yeah. borrow and by borrow, I mean consume our one ounce of residium uh, from part of the What? Oh, that, that is Mattis. Oh, okay. Never mind then. That's the one I got out of uh, my expedition into mining ore, remember? Uh, it's the blood ore. Was, was it? Yeah. Okay. I don't know why that's on party yeah. loot, but alright. I have no idea why it is. Holy Stop. shit, that's painful. <laughs> that's so agonizingly real. That's far too real. You should okay. get Welcome to my new campaign. Everyone has a job, indeed. 
<laughs> Comfortably employed. Everyone makes forty dollars an hour. Ow. <laughs> you <laughs> what's that? <laughs> dental? Where we're going, we don't need dental. What's that? Full health insurance covered by your work? Oh, guys, look God, I, that's I, a all, all of, fantasy. All of my all of my practice and I became a level three financial investor. It's finally paying off. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Guys, uh, I finally no, I unlocked see. month's paid vacation. <laughs> oh no! Oh, I, I, have, a, I, I have I have I have a, a tool specialization in Nasdaq. Awesome! And you were hit with a debilitating disease. Yeah, no, you do but have AD. <laughs> yeah, debilitating disease. Fortunately, your health coverance gives you a six months paid leave while you recover. I'm just watching everyone in the fucking <laughs> chat perish. <laughs> Even... <laughs> that is true. You went. Uh... I'm sorry. You yeah. You come with an accountancy proficiency. <laughs> okay. So the party can make the journey back to the freelance. It's very easy for you. Madeline's gets pulled by her fantastic. Mount. Moose. 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 And you're back in the freelance. We should yeah. awaken that moose. No. Awakening don't don't awaken is not a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> like, wow, I don't want this job anymore. I'm too smart to just pull shit for you, losers. Yeah, uh, awakening is. Awakening is how you just that's how you just lose all your animal So, yeah. what you're saying is you don't want Mr. Ed. No, no. Nobody wants Mr. Ed. So when we, <laughs> so when we get back to the... He was happy before he was smart. So oh. when we get to the Freelands, <laughs> I'll need to make a quick trip to the clothes store and then to get an actual outfit and then hand over everything else for retailering. <laughs> so, Same. But before, okay. well, I guess, get like one thing in new clothes and then let's try and get as much money from this loot as we can. What you awakening know what's funny is... There? What awakening is, is what uh, the angel said to God when he made man. Look what you did to that monkey. You fucked it up. It's got anxiety now. Uh, uh, I was yeah. just about to, I was trying to say that you took a perfectly good move and gave it anxiety. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let, let's, let's get back to D&D. &D. Alright, so... That's how much money we have before we rub the bard on it. Uh... Somebody will assist you if you want to try and get us better yeah. prices. Uh, also, before you even start selling stuff, you guys return to the Freelands, and your good old companion, Cade, returns. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, also, good. we have a quest to turn in from uh, these two nerds. Hmm, yeah, so before yeah. you go selling all of that stuff, like they'd like to reward you, and Kaede would like to update you on progress that she has made. Yes, good. Uh, let's see. I shall give her hugs. Yeah. Yes, and she will give you scratches. Yes. The mutualism is real. It's true. It's true. It's a script biotic relationship. Okay. So, there are plenty of things that Hornwatch could use and take advantage of. Namely, they love the ability to have a boat together, and people in the Freelands. They haven't really had an opportunity to boat before. Like, they haven't really had a reason to craft one capable of, like, legitimate fucking long-distance travel. Like, there are boats, but it does the short journey between here and the Salamander Isle. That's mm -hmm. basically it. They're aware that people from the edges of the central jungles and from the eastern trading isles have made their ways around. Indeed, there was one expeditionary ship that got fucking lost in the Black Isles. Uh, oh, trying no. to create a map of the ocean. Mm. Ooh. Uh, they would love a chance to make a boat capable of trading and selling with other continents. Okay. Uh, it will cost... Let's see here. How much does a boat cost in D&D? Thousands. Now you have to look for shit specifically, not boat. This is true. 
Uh, let's see here. Items, yeah, equipment, and transport. Yeah. Transport, no transport. Here you go. Water, uh, water vehicles. A sailing ship is ten thousand GP, as is a long ship. A galley is thirty thousand. So what you're saying is we should save up our long ship and then start raiding it. Yeah, it turns raiding out that the raiding reason what? you there's need to there's raid there's in a long ship. Too fucking stupid. <laughs> There's, there's yeah. the entire oh, southern continent that we can go to. You just learned that there's a whole new continent to raid. It, it turns out that the <laughs> reason all, you and have all their to wealth raid is on the in shore. a long ship is just to pay off the debt you have on it. <laughs> right. You're just trying to pay yeah. your mortgage. It's, it's like, guys, we've just learned that there's a whole other continent and all of their riches is on the shore instead of inland like us. Let's go take all their riches. And then you turn up and like, oh god, they have siege weapons on their shores. Why do they have siege weapons on the shores instead of inland? <laughs> <laughs> just uh, rush up in a long <laughs> ship and flaming ballast they bolt send you to the fucking ocean <laughs> fuck <laughs> we're out of time we're in the wrong time we this showed up in the renaissance years instead ago. of the middle ages <laughs> right yeah, yeah. alright so yeah uh, bo boat is off table because too expense much too expense no, it isn't off table. They want to create it, and Hornwatch wants to have it. Simply put, so obviously they needed to have a trade put in place. Uh huh. Now labor is one thing. They want to essentially ask other continents, like uh, sorry, like other cities and stuff, like people who can produce their own exports. Like, do they want to make money over the ocean? Uh, and that in and of itself is going to take a lot longer. Um, essentially what they want to do is, is crowdfund their first boat. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Hornwatch will, will hold it because they actually, you know, although it's it, it needs to be restructured, they have a dock. Like, they have space for a dock. So they're, like, right there on the water. And yeah, close and by. we're much closer to the water than the Freelands is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah ship, ship starter. starter. <laughs> um... They need to ask everyone, and that has now sort of become Coyote's goal, is to go around and essentially, yeah, go around hat in hand and ask if people have exports that they want to try and sell to other islands and receive imports on a similar vein. Uh, because stuff would come from the central jungles uh, through the causeway is still, it's not fast, especially to other edges, but getting people by boat from an even further away, richer, trade-heavier place and straight to the cold north as the crow flies was pretty appealing yeah what she's gonna do is is create the money so that a party of floofers can play sight and sail yay that's what they're doing the first merchant galley traveling dangerous beast filled waters to make shit loads of money oh that'd be perfect then that ah yeah. the protagonist of part. another adventure yeah, could use artificer for that to man the cannons. Get fucking yep. constructs ready. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, quite uh, literally. Uh, they are going to go through the process of what is effectively starting up some other person's campaign. <laughs> Just they're going to need they're going to need an adventuring crew to defend and hunt from this merchant galley as it goes around mapping out the ocean and getting rich. Baller. Yeah. Okay. In the meantime, though, like, yeah. what yeah. what trades has uh, Kaede made here that I need to mark down on my character sheet? Uh, woodworkers and laborers to be build the dock. Uh, that is something that Freelands will do for free. Um, they would like more oh. food. They would they would they would like you know to be able to be fed while they're there and taken care of. So, uh, if you would tick off thirty of Hornwatcher's gold, that will. Be just so you Done. don't have to worry about them feeding all these extra mouths over the year. Done. Cool. And yeah. Aha! Great. You are now getting woodworkers. Fuck, They're yeah. gonna start constructing a dock in Hornwatch so that they can, once they have the money for it, make a ship. Next up, they have a smithy that they would like to actually get off the ground. 
but mm -hmm. one step at a time. Uh, they can't really have another entire group of laborers working there while they're having the docks built. Uh, there's only so much space in the castle for all these people. Uh, so well, the, let, me, let me tell you about Bastion, next. who's moving there. Ah, well, still, he needs to, like, it's all well and good sticking the forge in the middle of a room, but you should do things like actually build suitable. a structure around it yeah. yeah 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 actually build build a smithy for your forges to go into it's not skyrim where you just for some reason there's just a forge outside underneath a wooden roof and that's okay hmm. <laughs> what's yeah, that all this just fire that's always going upwards nah it's probably nothing don't worry about it yeah the, if i remember correct there was a smithy a, sorry a forge down there and smithy area but it was cold Yes, that forge is that forge that forge is that forge is, that needs to be a hundred percent entirely refurbished. The only thing that has happened in the smithy is that the floors are swept, so it's not dusty as fuck. It hasn't been used for ages. So yeah, they would like to do that too, um, but that can't happen until the docks are built. Yeah. Okay. And she will be very proud of making this whole thing happen. Excellent. Extra scratches. And, That's... Yes. She will, however, complain that now she has to go and talk to a lot more people everywhere, which is admittedly what she's here for in the first place. It's not going to stop her complaining. <laughs> I understand that. Because I really, because I really like the idea of setting the dark up and everything, but the entire plans, I will give her a pat on the shoulder. And nice. Give her a thumbs up. Nice. You get like the edge of an ear up. She will not go full hand on you because you are shy and small. That's like ninety percent of the reason to go both hands. We got another <laughs> night here, and uh... it just, just, just gets you alarmed squeaking. Okay. <laughs> yeah, until she submits. It turns out she loves the rubs. Bitches love rubs. Yeah. Okay, so the archaeologists will pay you for, you know, rescuing these fucking people, and they did collect some information, and have come away with more interesting information. And, you know, side fact, you put the whole fucking place at rest, so they would like to give you a little bit of money, because that means it's safe for them to go in there and do things like look at walls and the slightly more boring aspects of archaeology. Right. Like, you know, yeah. it's like actually safe for them to go in there now. You've solved the undead problem so they can check it out properly. Uh, they will give you guys 150 gold. Nice. All nice. right. Yep. Oh, shit. I was totally way fucking off. What? Hmm? It is not a week per spell. It is three days per spell. Oh. Well, well I was so off. Uh, you got way more time than you thought. I, I and was, Kellen, I was you can angry. absolutely burn the pretty tiger lady. It's gonna take nine. Yay. Uh, I could probably do all the arcanist. Well, maybe not all of it. I'll lower it down to some. Well, I need. Uh, okay, I need, so I'm personally. We're spending at least three days here. Uh, nine because it's a three a third level spell. How long would it take? No, I'm asking. Not... We're spending three days here. And I just said we're spending nine because of the third level spell for Madeline. I but Madeline just said row. that it's less. No, no it's no, three. Right. I need it nine is... days total okay, right. to do so the nine spell. Days. I nine I... days. Like I said. Fucking... Mm -hmm. I can do it while we travel in my yeah. carriage. Yeah, Madeline has her personal carriage. Yeah. Yeah. I actually kind of like to spend a little downtime here for things. Okay. Yeah, uh, sure. for sure. three days. So. Please. No, nine days. It's nine yeah, it's days. And the whole nine, yeah. Sure. Okay. Okay. No, I asked if we ripping Madeline from the fucking discussion. I asked if we could just take at least three days of And we are we're right. taking and nine. We are taking three days. Yeah, In fact, the rest, we're the rest of your party will days. inform you. They will take even more days. Oh shit. Okay. okay. Uh, but before we do that, let's rub the bard on our money so we can get assets. Okay. Yes. Assisted so let's everything. see here. 1182. Sure. Bard. Bard this money up. I will All right. I'll bard the money up. I That's will. All I'm going to roll four different markets. We'll take the average and compare it to 23. So. 
One, two, three, four. Good suck. No, okay, you crush it. There was one person who just made a fucking standing amount. No one was better than you at this whole argument in the first place. Uh, okay. 10% markup? Uh, that is exactly what I'm thinking. Nice! Ooh. Uh, that, that's, oh, that's time right. 10. Oh, that's Hold on. 10. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Times okay, 1.1. Yes, it's 1.10. Yes. There you go. All right. All all right. Um, now let me add this to our party loot, and then we'll divvy it all up. Uh, so okay. It's... 1,300 gold, 7 silver, 5 copper. Okay. 7 silver, 5 copper... Right, let's just go ahead and leave that silver and copper in like just party floating power party loot for other things. Uh, that way we don't have to worry about sure, it. Sure, it's not a huge amount. Yeah. All right, so we can liquidate the gems down to another bunch of gold. Okay, so dude, bye bye. I will be right back while you're doing this. Looks like everyone's gonna get two hundred and sixty-seven gold. Woo. Nice. That's raises my 150 to 417. Okay. That's yeah. 371. So, okay. That's a pretty nice chunk of change. Oh, cloaks of protection require attunement. God damn it. Yeah. Of course they require attunement. They give like a plus one AC or whatnot. It d doesn't mean I have to like it. <laughs> I full didn't up on say you did. Slots. Yeah, I know the same problem, Saban. I might just. Oh, yeah. I wonder how that feels. I don't know. I've never fucking had this shit happen this quickly in a campaign. You got an before. extra attunement slot, though. Yeah, you get Present four two. attunement slots. Yes. But I had to literally craft my own shit that requires attunement. Delete, bro. Delete, bro. That is definitely a personal problem. I don't know. Carrier really likes the shit that we make. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah, I have to work uh, more on the... Good stuff, and okay. Uh, let's see. I have 18 out of 49 on days done. Hold on a second. Oh. Whoops, I did wrong math. That should be 60 higher. What the actual fuck? Oh. Can you do? 267 plus. Guys? Hold, hold on a second. Yeah. Hold on a second. Did I? That, that that's for you, Stray. Two hundred sixty-seven for you. No, I was just told that was wrong. Shush. Wait, I man, think I forgot something in, in our big pile of. The book is going to be sold in another place. Remember? No, Separate. no, no, not that, not that. Okay, yeah. Okay, cool. So we, we actually got a little bit more money than that. Uh, oh, yeah? You, uh, forgot you had the silver chain and, like, 75 map. GP on it? Uh, no, I, f I forgot we had four mass or five Master Work Longswords. I only sold four. So let me ah. do that real quick. Four times 315. Then R1260 times 1.1. 1381. 1386 divided by 6. Okay, everyone gets an additional 231 gold. I thought that fell really low. Oh, wow. Yeah, those, yeah. those swords okay. were the big source Why of our fucking income here. Why are we giving Sam the fucking math job? Because he's the 
Mm. I was about to say. <laughs> you, you know what? <laughs> you know the answer as to why. Usually very good. No, at really Look, I, I caught racist. the error immediately. I know, right? Leave me alone. No, saving is really good at indexing stuff. Okay, not mathing. It's, look, it, this wasn't a math error. This was a forgetfulness error, and we made yeah. more money, and it wasn't a big deal. So leave me alone. So, how much each? Uh, two fifty, uh, two sixty-seven plus that two thirty-one. Okay. So four ninety-eight. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Which math? Oh man. Okay. I know. I had to make up mug of fucking headache stuff. Is it getting better? Is it bad still? Yeah, it's, I fucking hate spring and summer. I hate all of it. I hope the sun explodes and we all perish. Me too. You can't believe in you. Are there any cloaks that don't require a tenant? Probably not. Cloaks that don't require a tenant. Uh, cloak uh, of elven kind. No, cloak of elven kind. Uh, oh, the, the cloak of the manta ray for all the good that is. Are any of you Aquaman? No. Oh. Okay, then. Um, let me, We're let not Bastion. D and D Beyond instead of the shitty roll twenty. Anyway, yeah. So okay. after Saban's done math here, and yeah, I've already sold off everything, everything. Is, yeah, I'm gonna head over to Close Star, get a. Oh, I outfit. see why you got such a good deal. You turned up with your fucking just popping titty titty popping out of that fucking clothing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. It's they true. were like, uh, yeah, I'll buy that. I mean, double E's stay make a big difference. Stay. Yeah, the guy who rolled a one was just you. He you turn up and then under the table you just hear. <laughs> uh, I'll sell anything you want. I'll buy it at cost. Yeah, exactly. There you go. Anyway, yeah. So I head to the clothes store, get a bigger version of like the similar outfit to what I've got on, and then it'll be over to the tailors to uh, get everything else readjusted. I imagine it's going to cost me a pretty funny for my entire, like, wardrobe. Okay, so if it's nine days, I can make a couple of rolls. I'm currently 18 out of 49 on the uh, trick weapon. Neat. So, I should do rolls for those. So, and then I need to uh, keep doing my uh, ratio research to improve the, you know, anti-crit of uh, Squiconium. Yeah, Squiconium continues its great work. Yes, so first is the, uh, the trick weapon research. Uh, did you want Smith or did he? Uh, that was Tinker, right? Uh, I believe either is fine in this case. I, you're still doing blueprints, so Tinker seems the more correct of them because it's a lot of your maths work. Okay, okay. okay. So I advantage here so much. And yeah, you can retail it for like five gold. He's driving so your carriage. That's a good point. Yeah, I didn't think about oh, that before. Yes. All right. Uh, how many days out of days were you at? I'm 18 out of uh, 49. Okay. Um, I'll say you make 11 days progress instead of nine. That's a pretty fucking sweet roll. Okay. So add. That puts me at 29. Hooray, 29. Yes, another two, another 20 days and I can trick weapon. The Bork has caught up. Sweet. Whoa! So what, you're level 5? Yes, I am now level Four. 5 with 76 XP. Nice, good job. I did it. Hell yeah. 76? Yeah. I spent all of my downtime training. Mm -hmm. You spent yeah. most downtime training and you were getting more experience in obsession. 
yeah. I think I, I think I am happy with how the maths on the on um, extended yeah. leveling worked out. How do you have more? Because HP you guys have been D10. What? What? Is our paladins D10? Yeah. Yes. How do you have more HP than me? How? No one said what? anything about hit points. What? How much oh, HP I thought I heard seventy six hit. I, I no, heard no. seventy six experience. experience. Oh. Oh, I oh, thought God. I heard hit points too. You're yeah, that's what psychopaths. I heard. Uh, yeah, I heard experience. Don't worry. Well, okay, well maybe he slid if lots of people had it. No, I guess mm. racial thinking. Yeah, probably. Alright. Well, okay. All right. I get extra attack. You, have, you can now whack and whack again? Yes. I can now, in fact, do this and then this. Okay, well, I missed. That's terror. God, that's terrifying. Completely fucking fail. I see you. Yeah, just break. The, the first day of downtime, or the last day of downtime, she's like, Yes, look how fast I can swing. Just drops her hammer, breaks her own foot. Ah! I got that, though. Whacking and smacking and whacking. Look at that plus 11. Crushing her feet. You guys are terrifying in the amount of damage you can help. When I get that healing, I wanna. Yeah, uh, Kaede will fix your fat. Oh. She'll Mr. Miyagi here. <laughs> Thank you. A foot massage. It is, you get a foot rub. <laughs> you are thankfully you too tough to, to break your. To, you are too tough to accidentally break your own bones. If you drop that on someone else's foot, you fucking broke it, and then I get to give them an injury card for a broken foot. Oh, yeah. Well, you wouldn't guy. fucking break Jeez. it, but you would fucking shatter it. Mm. It'd be a bad time. It would suck. It would super duper suck. Uh, okay, now so, I get to pick some yeah. little spells. Yay. While I'm doing this, as I'm not taking, I'm not spending like every waking hour doing this. Uh, oh. Hey, what's this? One day at a downtime. Yeah, that, that's related. Do I wonder your, if I can specifically first. take out uh, a broken limb. I've got broken toe here. It just lands only on the toe. Just on the pinky toe. Uh, but she was, in this case, protected by armor, so... Oh wow, that's really cool. Oh, hey. Interesting. Yeah, I have, I, have, I have lots of little cool cards like that shit. Ooh. That's rough. Mm hmm. How do I get this off my screen? I'm getting rid of it. Let's go. Cool. Uh, let's see here. That's fun little card there. Yep. Find steed. Yes. Find steed, huh? Yeah. You may just get an elefante for your steed. Yo, I, my god, is it, you're off for a dude horse, huh? I, I need something bigger than a normal horse, it's true. I'm sorry. She's, oh, well, let's see. So uh, Turns out she was the steed all along. Let's see if I can find the picture I'm looking for. Oh, my god. Damn it. Where the fuck are you? Is Kaede like gonna level up? No, not yet. Yeah. So okay. She won't level up until I gain my next level, because she's now exactly two behind me. So turn the downtime. So, I need to have <laughs> Whoa, what the fuck is this picture? That's the JoJoist horror. <laughs> Good lord. The jo I, I do need that, star. though. I Stand do need up. a horse that's whole. Actually, no, I need, yeah. a, like, an elk. Just, I'm actually going to see yeah, if I can get, like, an elk or something as my steed. Giant You're doing a fine moves. steed, right? Would you like to... I'm going to go to all the four-legged animals, and we can roll them. We'll see where you end up at. Oh... Hey, you might get a dude Look, horse. If you want, yeah, if you want specific, you gotta you gotta actually go out and buy it. It's whatever the god picks for you. And by god, I mean fucking RNG. <laughs> hey, you can get have something mercy. amazing. 
All right, let's see here. Warding bond. The fuck is that spell? Amazingly, actually in the SRT. All right. Let's see here. Oh yeah, we should also find someone in this town who can restore that sword. If at all possible. I know someone. Hello! I mean, aren't you already doing stuff during downtime? And if you're well, not, yeah, I'm the sure. sword needs, you know, your, the pieces are missing for the sword. I mean, you say missing, but what you mean is, uh, need to be replaced. Oh yeah, I'm just, uh, like I said, I'm doing the research for what you guys asked me to do. Alright, save him, roll me 1d8. Come on, Ooh. fucking elk. Ooh, uh... Uh... Is it oh, an elephant? No. I don't like that sound. Oh, I, or do I like that? Is it, a, is it an ice play? No. Mm, the DM said quickly rerolling. Yeah, could you, roll again? could you roll again? <laughs> is it, did you, Hold you on, I, I'll roll again, but I do really want to know what I rolled. A rhinoceros? Yeah! Oh, oh my yes! god. A fucking battle unit! Oh, cock. Alright, uh... You get a polar bear. That at least makes more oh, sense. Yes! Oh, All right. Get the fucking Coca-Cola bear. Here we go. All right. A dire polar bear has to be because she's about the size of it. And the uh, the polar bear, D and D polar bears are fucking. They are bigger than horses. That's for sure. Yeah. Yeah. That, they have a, they have a fucking bears. they have a fucking twenty strength. They don't give a shit. Yeah, it's as strong as I so am. Does... Yeah, the stuff does carry. Sure, yeah, no, I was like, I can't, I can't put her on a fucking rhinoceros, just gore charging things to death. <laughs> Swinging my giant hammer off the side like a fucking... <laughs> yeah. Just dynasty warriors and people while your rhino kills everyone it charges through. I mean, I would be um, exceedingly uh, happy with that, but I, li I like polar bear Yeah, more. it's a fucking battle unicorn. <laughs> It's like, look, if the grinder roll, moves at least 20 foot in a straight line and then hits it with a gore in the same turn, they take an extra 2d8 damage and they have to win a strength saving throw or be knocked prone. So you would run through people and deal 4d8 plus 5 damage to them, and then you hit them with a hammer. I can't let that happen. <laughs> but I can let you ride a bear that has 1d8s and 2d6s for their attacks, because frankly that's less bullshit. At least it has to, you know, you know, you can't front load it all on one death charge. <laughs> uh, that's pretty great, though. Yeah. Also, hey, they can survive a fucking hit, because they got 42 health. Alright, uh, I will I'll make it into a handout for you. What do polar bears even have in this edition? Uh, what Anger. do you mean? Um, did, did they have bears. bite, claw, claw. Wow. I'm, you know what? They don't Good have resistance against cold? Hmm. No, they, they oh, don't. They, I'm bad. never going to bother them about, like, you know, exposure. Hmm. Asher sure is a bad link there. Yeah, that's your fact. They do have dark vision, though. They do. They're great. Uh... Wait, do they in this? No, they don't. Yep. No. It says so right here. I don't know where right here is to you. Coarse dark hair. Polar bear. I, I'm literally looking at the thing. Monsters, polar bear. Dark vision out to a range of 60 feet. Otherwise, they have the same statistics. Oh, no, that's variant cave bear. Yeah, I was going to say, you were definitely 100% wrong. For one, I heard you say coarse black fur, and I'm like, that's immediately already incorrect. <laughs> I said coarse dark hair. Take I mean, that. That's Whatever. also not a thing polar bears typically have. Uh, they have, like, blonde ear for underneath the, underneath the white one. Right, mm. right. A anyways, Trey, you wanted to do a thing? Yes, uh, let's see. Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> ah, what is that? It's branding smite. It makes people mm. in no that. Oh, that's probably where my polar bear's supposed to be. Oh yeah, when you drag out sheets and I don't have tokens, so they just it puts a fucking splotling well. there. All right. I like that you decided that that spell is, is cursed right off the bat. Yeah, you I mean you just learned that it, you need to do better. Uh, okay. Man, they get a thirty foot swim. That's fucking great. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's not bad. Polar bear is really good at swimming. Which is good. No surprise, of course. Not. Yep. Yeah, it's in combat speed is 40, but it can cruise at a casual 60. It is a fan steed. Nice. Wait, you said you were surprised that polar bears were good swimmers? I said no, I'm not surprised. Ah, okay. Sorry, I have to go pick up the pizza. Just came Ooh, through the door. Pizza. I thought we were eating a fish. She ate that fish. Now I she has pizza. <laughs> Okay. Oh, <laughs> we, we, oh we, I'm salivating. I'm like fucking Pavlov's dog. Come on, Asse. We know that Hedra eats an inordinate amount of food. I mean, the fish was just like an hour ago, though. Yeah. And Hedra That's a whole eats hour, like, guy. And Hedra eats like, what, what was it, like 8,000 like 8, calories or something like that? Yep. Yeah, 8,000. Okay, compared to okay. a normal person, I mean, like 2,000. Your fusion core requires a lot of uh, atomized protein. Whereas I get fed like Doc Brown fuels the DeLorean and Back to the Future too. Just empty a just a fucking rubbish tin into it. Like I hope there's nutrients in there. <laughs> <laughs> Where we're going, we don't need roads. We don't need nutrients. <laughs> okay, okay. So we got that. You got a polar bear. You didn't get a fucking, sadly, you didn't get the fucking armored battle unicorn. He, yeah, you did not get, yeah, you didn't get the thick unicorn. <laughs> it's like, imagine seeing a rhino and having no context, which you wouldn't. They're from the central jungles and the southern deserts. So you see a fucking uh, a rhinoceros and you're like, oh my god, it's a fat unicorn. <laughs> and then on top of it is an enormous paladin with a hammer like the fucking Kirk hammer. Yeah, I imagine the first you. time you find Steed on your bear, which you now have control of, you can name it, do whatever, I'll give it a token soon. Yeah. Um, it just looks at you and sees your hammer, and you can swear you can hear its fucking mind go, oh, for fuck's sake. Yes, <laughs> bear. Okay, let's see here. Polar bear art. Safe search on. <laughs> Didn't need that. Oh, God. God, I can only imagine. I don't want to know. Oh my god, okay, there are, however, some amazing... amazing ones instead. Uh, like that shit. I'm just gonna give a link instead of try and do any cross things there. Some fucking gentleman, gentleman polar bear in a suit. Yeah. yeah I like you, can, you, you can go hunting, pick out whatever, whatever polar bear art you want. Alright, I'll, I'll slap a token up. in there between sessions. You gotta get the. No, you'll in. slap me some art and then I'll do it in high def. Oh my god, it doesn't fucking matter. It does matter to me because I'm spending money on it, so I'm gonna get my goddamn money. So but you're spending more money by using higher def. Don't you understand? I have more tokens than you and use less space. Yeah, but that your tokens have jaggy edges when they're large and I can't deal with it. <laughs> but they're almost never large. But also, you're this talking to an artist. There. It is large. Yeah, large size is fine if you use the highest. Whatever, nerd. I am a nerd, a massive nerd. It, Saban, <laughs> if you don't get the polar bear with a uh, Cossack riding on his back and shoulder mounted AK 47s, then I, I just don't know who you are as a person. If this was a sci fi game, oh, there's a polar bear starving to death. Oh, poor baby. Oh, oh. oh. You know, why don't you just get the fucking picture of the polar bear from Zootopia? They have a nice suit and everything. I'm <laughs> not getting a fucking suit bear. I refuse. Okay, so I'm gonna life. roll cartographer's tools like nine times? That's how, many, that's how long our downtime is? Go for it. And then see what I can set. 
see what you can sell. Nice. Well, not that, that one. one. That, that one. one. That's all right. Damn it! Why'd that link break? Uh, because it's a shit fucking ton of numbers. <laughs> I guess. Yeah. Look at that. There's JP. There ends in JPG, and then there's a question mark and more numbers after it. What happens if I delete those numbers? Yeah, you can uh, delete those numbers. That they work. And then it does yeah. not work on this one. Oh. No. Okay, oh, that well. map is better than the original, and I can't tell that one now. <laughs> that that crit there. Yeah, you're gonna gonna replace that one. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Uh, I mean, your old one was still like a twenty something. Uh, yeah, you can make four gold. So, yeah. Just putting together some maps. Nice. Anyway, there's my chunk bear. Sweet. I shall put this heffin unit in. He, oh, I like his dopey unit. face. I know. I love everything about like that a, picture. I like his dopey face. Alright. So what's your bear's name? Uh, Mr. Barrington. No. Oh. Plums to bear. No, not plums. Let's see. What what's a white fruit? Grapes? Yeah. I mean, there's snowberry. White peaches and there's we've already date. had peaches though. We've, we've had a peaches. So You've already we've had grapes too. Have we? Yes. Oh, where? When? Grapes. Um, what's her name? Halua's mount. Yeah, thing that's from the, the one shot. That didn't count. <laughs> the one shot horses. Same as what? Did you aren't you the oh, sorry, thinking it from a uh, carry perspective, not from a savings perspective? She would name like, oh, you're like. I ain't look. If if we were naming, if we weren't naming this from ring. the meme perspective, he would be like Rothgar or something. Yes. Pears or white? That's certain. Types pear of the bear. bear. Yeah, pear the bear. <laughs> Just so it's not a bear. Okay, that's good to know. Why are you gonna ruin everything? Okay, you know what? His name is Rothgar. Fuck you guys. He's not a horse anymore. Anyway. Um... Uh, sure. Are you keeping those heated cloaks for your companions to go into the, uh, uh, the about... Aisle? Mm -hmm. Colder weather. Oh yeah, it's yeah, going yeah, to be uh... fucking incredibly cold there. Uh, there's yeah. a lot of open plains, there is in fact a large expanse that's just called the Obsidian Plains because the floor is just blasted obsidian. Yeah, the, the heated cloaks are specifically for the party and the party animals carrying the carriages. Oh, Rhubarb is a great bear name. Yeah, the other I do the, love uh, that, yeah. is I'll be selling to the Arcanist Guild to get my reputation up and some money from them. Sure, uh, give me Persuasion. Okay. Let's see here, Persuasion. I could buy ah. a chariot for my bear. A 17. variant. Okay, um, you make back, uh, on this occasion, 80 gold. Uh, Alright, like that's pretty good. Did, Presta did, sorry, there's just like a fucking absolute biker gang pounding around out there. Yeah. Bastards. Um, yeah, you make back about 80 gold. Ooh, so you obviously like... didn't, didn't make a profit there. No, I made a profit on the 10 miscellaneous ones. I guess it's... so. Yeah, 5 GP per thing, and there's 10 of them, so 50, so 80 gets me a 30 GP increase. That might be too much, then. You make 70. Shouldn't have All said right. it. There you go. As, uh, still 20 GP is still pretty good. Yeah, it's still pretty good. You're very persuasive. Yeah, so let's see here. So it says 46, and then I have to take off 50 for the cloaks. All right, and then 30 for that, so that's 80. Yeah. You know what, Madeline? Ka uh, Kaido will will run your carriage for you. Oh yeah. Yeah, you don't have to to buy in another rando. Okay. She's happy to do that classic thing of sit in the driver's seat, make sure a horse doesn't plow itself into a, your your moose doesn't plow itself into a wall, and sip drinks and smoke. 
All right. Well, that's that's good. All right. So I guess at the end of this de these nine days, I'll have a new spell on my spell list. Uh, are we able to find anyone in town who can repair uh, Ash and whatever the fuck? Ashlander? Oh, yes, the sword. Yeah. Uh, it will cost you money to do so, because you'll need metal to replace the blade oh, yeah. that isn't there anymore. And you'll need someone who's actually quite a capable spellcaster, because it's already an enchanted item before they're working on it. So you need well, we're in the fucking Arcany Guild town, yeah, I should are... hope so. Mm. Hello? Did, did somebody say you need metal? Yeah, enough metal to reforge a hand and a half sword. Don't? Isn't everything so you buy just like it. terrible metal though? No, I already have several ingots, pound ingots of squithonium. Mm. I don't she, know she, she has by this point over the course made a very good alloy metal. Okay. So I got that. If you're willing to, to pitch it in for the sword. You sure? Okay. I... Uh... Roll me a d4. We'll see which arcanist assists a blacksmith with this. Come on, Benny. Benny! Benny isn't an arcanist, no, but you do actually... I mean, you say damn it, you get better um, while There's you're... There's no such like, thing as better. There isn't, no. Um, <laughs> Is there a new tiger though, friend? He's an alchemist. Nope. Uh, again, arcanist, not alchemist. Uh, oh, you right, get... right, 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 right. Uh, the attention of head arcanist Wildbeard. Oh. While you're, you know, like, in the guild asking around, like, is there anyone who's able to do that? Most of them are going, it's already magical equipment. We're not exactly specialists in this. I get that it's a reforging, um, but the cost of, of damaging such a thing is, like, not really many people want to take the risk of, like, completely fucking this would-be magical equipment, because it's probably worth an outstanding amount of money and they don't want to be liable mm -hmm. and what you're like come on is there no one who's willing to do this no one at all there is a <clears throat> uh, and when you turn around you can see that there is a yeah, maybe like five foot eight balding man he's wearing a very comfortable looking robe that's more pocket than robe and he has a very wild beard uh there are a number of arcanists who'll be like oh uh They'll look surprised that he's even announcing himself at anything. <clears throat> Excuse me, miss. You said you were looking for an arcanist. Yeah, someone who's not afraid to work with an ancient magical artifact. And Carrie will mm. do the like Lord of the Rings reveal of the the shattered sword. Shattered. Okay. Let's see. Here. And uh, I'll make a check for him to to praise this thing. Not exactly high rolls all around, but certainly more than enough. Dang, he's smart. He real smart. He is the head arcanist. He's the big boy. He runs this guild. Well, you're lucky you... Came in on a day when I'm at work, I suppose. Yes, I suppose I could go through this. However, there is certainly something about this blade that might put off a smith if they were to work on it. Oh? Yes, you see this, this weapon here. In the process of reworking it, it would leech the strength of the smith who does so. Oh. This is a temporary loss of vitality, but I imagine it would be rather unpleasant to surprise someone with that. Indeed, they would, if unaware, likely stop partway through the process. Of course, if you were willing to pay an extra fund. Or maybe find someone who doesn't commercially smith and wouldn't mind being incapable for some few days. He would be willing to do the physical reforging. 
I wonder, do you know anyone who would fit this description? Everyone's mind just kind of flits back to Bastion. And he's not a master smith, nor is he an arcanist, really. No, he is neither of those in particular. So, and we can't uh, disable okay. Maddie. I know but someone... We... Go to Anna. I was just going to say, I know someone who is a master smith and is also a powerful arcanist. Is she? Uh, Oh, well, she's maybe. a powerful spellcaster. She would never, she never got qualified for Arcany. Uh, yeah, they had paperwork, fine. not her thing. <laughs> paperwork, no. Yeah, no. But this Arcanist here would happily work on a blade that she has reforged, and ensure that the rest of the blade becomes as enchanted as this hilt is supposed to make it. It means that the job would have to be done in two parts. So but, yeah, how, how much would it cost to get it just all done here? Might as well find out. About 900 gold. Well, that's double what I have, so I guess we're off to Anna, but I will thank him heartily for finding this out, and that, that something that she had no idea, but it makes sense considering it came from a cursed and horrible place. Mm -hmm. uh, and to tell you what, would you like to roll me another D8? I will also add this process to each is the string. Nice. Rendering them incapable of working for only four, three days. Neat. Uh, he does not uncover the other secret in this weapon. But he doesn't uncover either of the two secrets in this weapon. Nice. I'm sure there's more to this blade as well. Uh, it's old, and it has obviously grown weak with time, but I imagine it can be re-strengthened again at some point. I don't know what an intact blade might yield, but it be quite a potent thing. Alright, yeah, I will, I will thank him for his assistance. Uh, as, do I owe him anything for consultation fees? No, considering you, you went into the guild like, will nobody work on this at all? And then he walks up to him and goes, I would work on it, but, you know, Literally no one here will do that job without you spending a lot of money in the first place. Although he would find the people. But yeah, you come back to him with a reforged blade and he'll he'll do the necessary arcany to have it properly re-enchanted again. Nice. And in the meantime, I will start saving up some money. Because hmm. I poor AF. I say with like 500 gold just jingling in its sack behind me. In adventurers, man. Could he clack get in my sack? Just gonna kidnap Anna. Look, we're poor till we get at least a thousand GP. And it's fucking weird that, that really is like a sort of baseline for adventuring. Is just... mm. I say that almost having a thousand GP. Exactly, you're almost middle class. Yeah, I've only got a. Let's see, get to do seven eighty six plus right. one ninety. Let's... Yeah, I'm only thirty gold off. Wow, nice. Uh. So yeah, I guess that's me done for downtime. Uh, does anything interesting happen while I'm handing out free heals to people? Um, no, Kaede will join you in doing so. Hers are very popular. Yeah, I bet. When I get that feeling... They're very hands-on. Yeah. You lay on hands, but she lays on hands, and it's, it's I, got italics. Her, <laughs> her healing is literally called sensual, so yes, I, I can imagine she... Might have a, a bit of an edge. At least on me. she's not like her parents that would just put people into a rut when she does it. Yeah, thanks. It's only a brief rush of heat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Has yeah, only a brief rush. Steals poor little innocent adventurers' virginities. You know, as you do. Mm, yeah. Or as Miko do. Or was it Maya did it at the time? Ah, uh, who knows? Okay. So. So we got that. We got clothes. Yeah, Stray wanted to do something during downtime. I don't know if she's around, though. I've been around this entire time. All right. Round, round, we get around. You should do your thing, then. All right. So, like I said three times, Carrie is, uh, Eloy is going to uh, gather up Carrie. Yeah, all right, yeah, a little.
find her on like a street corner somewhere uh, handing out hangover cures and healing injuries. Yep. Paladining it up. Yeah. Hey, Aloy. Hey, Aloy. Alright, time to come with me. What? We're going this way now. But I'm, I'm helping the people of the town. What's up? We live this way now. Uh, oh no, are you taking her back to the fetish shop? No. Oh, uh, I was okay. going to say, that could be a fun thing. Like That would be incredibly and... fun, and I was so tempted to do it. You have no idea. Uh... But I actually don't have a reason to go back there right now. Oh, uh, oh well. I'm, I'm sad about it too. I'm, I'm sorry for interrupting. Sorry. Uh, I guess don't wait up, KD. Bye. And, um, Eloy is just going to lead you through the city. I know it's been a little weird, but, but um, I got over it eventually. It took a while. Fighting helps. And we fought together three times now? Three More times. Three big time. No, three big time. Little times don't count. Bandits don't count. Oh, that was my first blood. That counts for me. Hmm. Actually, fair enough. For me, it was Tuesday. <laughs> well, now I'm feeling like I'm part of the club. and <laughs> I'm glad you got over it. You're a good friend, Eloy. I shall give you a walking and hug. And LOA will wrap her very long tail around your... We're going to go see a friend of mine that your namesake loved very much. Oh? You need to meet Uncle Benny. What's a Benny? A giant werebear. But my family's from werewolves. Don't worry about it. Well, I suppose that doesn't count. That's something Mom Jeanette would... So, uh, when Mama Jeanette first came to the city, she was uh, all alone. But Benny was really nice to her. And uh, he's a friend to everyone, but especially you. And so he kind of got adopted into our family. Well, more like he adopted us. Oh, that's very sweet. He sounds like a great guy. He's a very nice guy. Maybe his daughter's there, too. She's nice. But I think she's on adventures. Well, if she's there, we could bring her on adventures with us. Mm, she already has a party. Oh. But they're not the as hero, cool as us, though. She's the hero of her own story. She's super cool, but granted, not as cool as us. Don't tell her that to her face, though. <laughs> So I'm going to take care of to meet Uncle Benny. Benny! Sure. And when you arrive, uh, he is, uh, like, sat in a really big armchair that's just sort of been planted in the corner of the wall, like, feet up on a, a, a rest thing. There's an empty tankard, like, uh, to the side, and he's just snoring asleep. Uncle <laughs> Benny! Ah, Eloway, it is a pleasure to meet you again. And who is your exceptionally tall friend? This is Caridwin. A pleasure to meet you. And he'll... Ooh, gets himself up out of the chair. There's a click and a clack and a crick and a crack of bones. And he'll pull you into a big old hug. It's like the first time in your life where someone's been taller than you. Is he taller than me? He's like yeah, eight just foot about. tall. Wow. He is a big dude, yeah, like, he Second gets up out of, yeah, gets up out of the fucking chair, there's a, the clicking, clacking of bones, and then, you know, he's at full height. There's You're a little so bit more hunch to him huge. than there used to be. <laughs> I hear that a lot. But it really means something coming from me. Hmm. Wow. I can see how it would. You come for a drink? Sure. Yeah, and he'll escort you through the shop that he tends to sit around in. And uh, goes to tap a keg. So what do I owe the pleasure of your visit? We got back from adventuring, clearing out a cave. 
and finding the sword lost to time, Ashlander. Shing, hold up the blade Zelda style, though there's not really a blade it's on it. Just, you hold up a handle, Zelda yeah. style, you know, squint. Some I'm afraid someone appears it. to have lopped the end of your legendary sword off there. Yeah, but we'll get a new one, it's fine. Hmm. Fair enough. Never net a stop and adventure, I suppose. <sighs> and he will hand each of you big frothy tankards before settling back down into his chair. <sighs> Do excuse me, the bones are getting old. <clears throat> ah, you're gonna live forever. I is. feel like he's just, by this point, like, afraid to disagree with anyone from the Hopman family about things like that. That's how necromancy happens, <laughs> or becoming some kind of undying servant, so he'll just laugh it off. Yeah, wait a minute, there's, like, a long moment's pause as Gary kind of looks at the ancient werebear and puts two, to two together. Wait, do wares not live forever? Hmm? What? Goodness, no. No, no. We last for a very long time, of course, but... We were never meant to be immortal. Where boars live the longest. That is true. Well, no, where bears, sorry. We're kind of tied with them, frankly. Uh, the ones yeah. who live the shortest are the little rat people. This is also But true. not like our little rat people, because they're half deeply. Right. Yes, I've heard of, of your squeaklings before. Tieflings are cheating. They are. They are. Carrie's just staring into the middle distance, like mentally calculating something. When is dad going to die? Yeah, that that is exactly it. What do you mean my dad won't be around for? Oh, God! Eloy will just <laughs> and pinch your ear. Ow! Drink your booze, it's good for you. Yes, uh, goodness me, don't allow any kind of age-related morbidity to go slowing anybody down. Nothing hmm. is... Nothing is set. Mom's immortal and she was born human. She was only supposed to... Like, I don't know, 30 years from now, maybe? Your mother is a very special woman and doesn't count. What? No. Wait, people can just become immortal? She well... did after a very, 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 very long time. I think. Hmm. She lives in Tower now. Not that... Uh, she can't do anything outside of tower she just can't do out anything outside of tower towers connected to other places too she tells him about other worlds she goes to <laughs> he'll he'll pause and, and look to carried one as a kind of like how do i how do i give her an, un, un, an unbiased opinion of my wayward psycho daughter slash granddaughter who is going to outlive me and he's pausing and considering the hopmans themselves are hmm unconventional and they are comfortable and dabbling with things that are seen as rather dangerous subverting the natural order I don't specifically have an issue with this because frankly a lot of the things that we have learned have come from people who have been known to perform the impossible ruling someone out for such a thing is such a waste, such a terrible waste you could all get along instead that's why people who can afford it here have internal plumbing Indeed. Meanwhile, there's a little thought bubble above Carrie's head that says Deus Vault, question mark. It's processing oh, yes. that in the background. Goodness knows. If Jeanette ever found out that I was actually getting old, she'd put me in a Warforged or something. Not that I think she's figured Warforged out yet. Or maybe she did and forgot. Honestly, it's hard to tell. I mean, she has 400 giant robots, but they're not those as smart as Warp. Yeah, those aren't Warforged. I've seen them before. Very impressive, mind you. But they don't have the capacity to learn, which is what I've found is the main issue. But that's getting into... We'll pause. Things that go over your head somewhat. What? I'm smarter than I look, honestly. Nothing, nothing goes over my head, I would catch. He will smack. My head's even and, higher up. And hey, she totally does have a uh, intelligent creature. I love her uh, giant pet borker. She, to be fair, half made that. I believe she explained it as 
pushing it into the realm of elemental fire. I have no idea what that means. I don't Fair know. Carry one was the one you talked to about that kind of stuff. Indeed, yes. I will miss that wonderful nerd. She was such a sweet girl. It's okay. Hmm. Nothing is set in stone. The what, spirits... What does that, that mean? I wouldn't worry about it. It probably will take me, like, at least a hundred years. To what? Hell mouths only open up, like, every half a century or so, I think. <laughs> Benny insights the shit out of here. I, I would and also Benny. like to <laughs> insight. <laughs> yeah, would you like to go for a deception? Uh, Good fucking luck. I'm not exactly trying to hide it. You no are, asked. but I feel like no one... Like... I guess? I win. Yeah. And he'll pause. Now, Eloy. I know that we are a, a, a family that respects the passing of boundaries. For indeed, what are boundaries? But walls that we can actually climb over or break through. Every boundary is a doorway. We do tend to have a strict no necromancy policy, however. No, 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 no. Then she couldn't have fun if she was undead. The spirits say that she's held by Bellatrix, which means I have to get strong enough to beat her up. And then I can bring El uh, bring Carrie One back. I, I just need to find a Hellmouth. I don't think that... She's not a, she wasn't a worshipper of Bellatrix. You, she's not going to stay in that realm forever, you know. She may have died in combat, but her god has a claim to her. Yeah, but Bellatrix prevents people from coming back. That's what the spirits said. They said it would be a really dumb idea if, uh, as I am, as I am. I just need to do what mom did and eat an energy field bigger than my head. P please don't I'm... necromance people. It's not necromancy. That's literally the definition of necromancy. No, I think uh, my big sis my sister used to say necromancy is just talking to. And then there's other necromancy, which is raising the dead as corpse. This is more like, hmm, reincarnation, but without them losing their memories or becoming a frog. That sounds an awful lot like necromancy. She'd probably like become a vampire and have to drink souls to sustain herself. Which is why I've got to make sure that I beat up the goddess of the dead for her. You can't fight a god. That's silly, Eloy. Yes, I can. I mean, I'm not going to stop you from trying, but... I wouldn't get your hopes up too much. I don't know what spirits you were listening to, per se. Oh, no, the spirit said it was a dumb idea. But also, you know, they can't tell me what to do. No, I suppose they can't. They do have you a little incorrect. Bellatrix would fight you for trying to fight messengers of the god, but she is no guardian gateway keeper for the dead. Uh... She's where people go when they die in combat. You would have to get in a fight with Bellatrix, and then apparently you want to fight the Queen of Death, which I feel is a terrible idea because she's a spellcaster and they cheat. But well, I have all of the rest of eternity to become so strong that cheating doesn't matter. <sighs> Far be it from me to stop you from becoming incredibly powerful, but uh, do be careful. That's okay. That won't happen for... Let me check my math. And she'll look at the back of her hand. Oh, right. Bads. Damn. Mm -hmm. Eloy, you scare me sometimes. The whole Hopman family is scary, but they are a brilliant kind of scary. Is I am it, super though? duper smart. Nod, nod. Uh, well, thank you for the drinks, Benny. Uh, 
You are very welcome. Anytime you want to come by for a drink or to have a chat, I am available. Appreciate it. It was wonderful meeting you. I'm gonna just gonna just gonna go back to helping the poor and needy now. Oh, I'm wonderful. I'm going to go back to resting my eyes. If you catch him in a really good mood, he'll make a roast that he cooked for like three days. You ate that roast, though, when you were here a day ago, so... Hmm... I haven't had another three days to make another one yet. It's just a vacant spot where Caravan used to be. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I'm going to go tell mom about this. She can stop this from happening. To be fair, I believe Eloy's timeline is somewhere in the thousands of years, and Theory will go, oh, that's just the Hortmans, I wouldn't worry about it. I mean, that's what Theory said about Tower, and look what happened. This is true, and then it left. Problem solved. It's not problem solved, it's still there, somewhere, doing things. It's problems, or, problem solved, it, it left thing. the north. Problem solved. And... And on top of that, I think you keep forgetting that Theory actually talked to Tower, and when she woke up, she had a strange sense of ease about the place. That's true. She did lose all of her tests to talk to the divinity of Tower, and was like, I forgot what that was again, and apparently it's cool. Yup. So she's in a weird brain place when it comes to Tower. I, mean, I I don't think Theory lost her sense of just dread regarding it. Just also like, no. it's not going to hurt me now. <laughs> Yeah, it's fine. This is true. Yeah. Everything's cool. Yeah, no, it's it's hardly a problem that's solved forever. Um, but they will be like, yeah. Still, she's still working on getting strong enough to stop Tower. It's gonna take her a few years still. Yeah, yeah. In, in Borg, she's the, she's the first adventurer who was like, I'm gonna have to get strong enough to stop this from being a problem, and she's still working on that, and will do for a couple hundred. I mean, years. she wasn't the first. We have a couple down in the basement. <laughs> Mm, this is true. But yeah, th in Bork's 20, Theory will finally be, like, buff enough to go fight Tower. Well, mm. if you fight Tower, you're gonna have to fight Jeanette, too. And, uh, this is true. Right. Like, like when, whenever I think about this stuff, I'm like, what would it look like to do the, the epic encounter? It's like everyone plays as fucking, like, level 15s and 16s, and I dump them in a Death Tower. Oh, it's just lair action all the time. I, I feel like that would need to be a 20. Oh, no, you'd hit 20 before you hit the top. <laughs> That's just how much XP you get from the horror you encounter. Yeah. I mean, again, you're literally fighting a god. Uh, yeah. Sort of, sort of god. Again, I've, I've, ne I've never confirmed what it is or let you confirm what it is. Sort of god. It's a thing, Gummy. Mm. And yeah. is, that, is that the end of your thing, Stray, or do you have more for it? I was going to do more, but Carrie ran away. <laughs> she just snuck away when things got very hot money. And then, yeah, Benny will just, you know, he'll have another drink and then he'll go back to sleeping in the giant chair. Before we do leave, I have a thing I, I want to do, but I got to use the restroom. And uh, how many days are we doing this? Nine. Nine days. That's fine anyway. Like, uh, me and Kina need to go visit the one shop. See what happens okay. there. Oh, um, can I add nine days to my oh, persuade there. training, please? Yeah, of course uh, you can. Yeah, sure. Okay. Um, I would like to add that this persuade training has a. I only have expertise when it comes to flirting because that's all she's interested in. Yep. Oh, and I gotta use the restroom. Here, well, okay. Sure thing. All right, and your thing, you guys. Yeah, so we're gonna go to that one shop uh, during one of the days of downtime. And uh, let's see, Estray said in the chat here it was a uh, lock the door and. Uh, Tell her we want a good time. Okay. All right, sure. What kind of place have you dragged me to? Uh, a very fun place. I've gotten uh, many fun toys from here before. Mm, I feel. I see. I see. Okay. Uh, roll me three d six. Okay. You should have named that bear rhubarb. Eleven. Let's see, yeah. four, three, four. Okay. Oh, you want the different things? That's fine. Okay. I can I can read it by half. It's not a problem. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. How best to start it? I'll, I'll give you guys the cliff notes, if only because it's, it's, it's my head is killing me. But 
Okay, yeah. Everyone's progress. You enter, and you're greeted by, by warmth and smiles, and then she sees you reach behind yourself and click the door locked. At which point her smile will become more like, yeah, I guess predatorial is the correct way to put things, and she will crouch down beneath the counter, and then when she stands up again, she's placing down various bottles and a candle that she lights with a snap of her fingers, and it fills the air with a lovely aroma, and you are escorted to a back room. It starts off casually enough, you get yourself... What was that? Well, you uh, get full-body massages. Oh, well, this uh, is nice. Yeah. Yeah. And then they become happy endings. Oh. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. Mm. Yep. You're flipped over and the massage continues. And then we've got three. That's uh, actually kind of the same realm. Uh, can you give me another d6? Uh, sure. Uh, three. Two. Ooh, okay then. Uh, and then you are filled with toys, and they are fantastic. Many of the ideas that you have had previously about what spells like Prestidigitation could be done to toys are instead utilized directly on yourself. Oh boy. Yeah, it's a great time. And then afterwards, once you're both particularly loosened up by the events that occur, uh, you are... Well, eventually, you know, there's, there's got to be some kind of break for meal time. You've been here now for some countless hours, uh, and she will disrobe and present you with meal time, as it were. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. Yep, with whipped cream and a cherry on top. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Uh, you guys can finish. Uh, Athia, at some point when you check your bag in the future, you'll find that there is 10 gold less in it than there used to be. Don't know when it happened. You're pretty sure that you and uh, Madeline had her strict attention the entire time. And yet, there is 10 gold that is not there. Uh, and both of you have temporary 1d6 bardic inspiration dies. They can be spent on anything you want to spend them on. Nice. Also, at the end of all this, I'll need to pick up some gear from this place. Yeah. For future, for future, so that, uh, yeah. She looks very pleased. You got, you can have a little discount and uh, just fucking tick off some gold and add whatever you want. But I don't care. <laughs> it's a sex shop. You can pick up a whole bunch of crazy shit. Just throw in a number you think makes sense. Okay. When did you when we're, when we're when we're coming out of that room, Madeline's just like completely. Blushing and just will smack you on the air. This is, this is not. That's not. That's not what I. Yeah, I'll, I'll make it up to you later. How about that? Uh, Do whatever you'd uh, like. Uh, give, give you good shoulder massages, back massages, whatever you'd uh, like. Feet massages. You know, I knew better. <laughs> Butt massages. And okay. They better be good massages. <clears throat> Alright? They'll be the greatest massages I can give you. And I won't stop until you're pleased. Uh, I guess I'll... Let you off this time. God, does it hide the sausage? But you're definitely going to be my test subject for my magic spell. Absolutely. You say it like it's a punishment. Shh. Okay. You guys can have yourselves some inspiration. Indeed, uh, LOA, Caridwen. Yay. Uh, does anyone not have inspiration? Well, I was I about did. to use... I was about to use uh, my inspiration, so can I bank that? 
No, you can't done. bank inspiration. What? I was literally whatever. And you got it from the thing you already did. Uh, I already have that. Someone else take it. Yeah, I already got inspiration. I never use it. <laughs> I can. There you go, Hedra. Have an inspiration. Does she even have an inspiration? I already have. Yeah. Oh, everyone, you guys... full up. I, f I used to yeah, feel bad about not giving you guys inspiration, but apparently you fuckers never goddamn use it. So, you know what, straight, you can bank it, because yeah, just, there's it. so much floating into the air in the ether, you can't not be inspired. This, this is I the first, use this it is the every first time. single time I, I have, pretty much every t single time I have social things. It's just that, why use inspiration in combat when I already have advantage? It's true. I'm mostly oh, being I'm mostly being facetious. Like three or four sessions now. Of course, we'd bank it. It's so rare. No, I use it up it's, and it's, then it's, like, yeah, sit it's, without it's, it for like yeah. four or five sessions. It's only as rare as you guys make it. No. So what you're saying is medium, I need to do more rare. stuff like this to get inspiration. Well, it's more like I just happen to remember at this point in time. But yeah, doing things like this, like, you know, you're going out of your way to, like, spend money to do things and develop as characters. I feel like, yeah, I should reward that. <laughs> okay. Uh, but most of the time I'll forget because I'm terrible at this system and in a way I, you know, I'd much prefer being asked, like, can I have inspiration than being like, yeah, okay, sure. <clears throat> what the? Oh, you're about to fuck her one. <laughs> oh, I'm being raped. Panic ruining. Ro! Alright. Oh, uh, you're really not. And also, uh, we gotta make sure that you're not boring when you go to the salamander. Eye. <laughs> oh no, is it time for the Minotaur poll? No. Oh goodness. I mean, if you want to do Minotaur, Minotaur poll, bring us in for it, Stray. <laughs> just kind just. Hop on over to the world map. So at the end of the night, I get my free. I get my spell. Yes, yes, you have your spells. Okay. Thank you. Uh, and yeah, are you you gonna you gonna buy a few pearls? Yeah, I already deducted uh, enough to make to get four. Is it time cool. to apply your spell? If you would like to be the first, the test subject of the spell and see how it works, see if it comes out right, then yeah. Sure. So. What do you need to do? Is it uh, if it inscribe or something like that on me, or um, how, how's it work? She pulls out a great big fucking tattoo gun. I had this built. <laughs> well, I do have to get a bit hands on. Okay. Do you need me to disrobe or anything, or uh? No, just pull down your pants and pull up your. Okay. You get the pants okay. down to the knees Pulse and the still. shirt pulled up some. I didn't mean that much, but I want to do... Okay, fine, whatever. Okay, hold still. This might sting if it gets a hammer and chisel out. Should I expect any sort of burning sensation? I... Oh no, that's why you are absolutely taking advantage of poor care. Yeah, this is very much taking advantage of her. Is that wow. is that is that, is this why you've been training your your persuasion so? No, I don't have advantage on that. Oh my god! Poor Carrie. All right, is this a charisma <laughs> no, or a cool. wisdom save? Uh, whichever is higher for you. Okay. Well, you actually could have succeeded that pretty success easily. Yeah, you could have. But you, you think? Didn't. But gallons of hormones. It's true. And on top of that, LOA is too dumb to realize she didn't know what that meant by a game. Literally, everyone else that she's asked before knows what she means, including like three of the party. Wait, no. Not Madeline. Yeah. All right. It's okay. So they I, get up to some wait, stuff. No, I'm just what? interested to see what happens when Nathia learns what happened. 
I mean, I, I talked to her a little bit about what the spell she was researching was, and uh, apparently it's something to do with a miracle of life, so... It's... Um, and uh, for Sari, considering that she has gallant hormones, so uh, I have she's, a pretty good idea on it. She's still a virgin. Uh, what? Yeah, you get the... Um, the Carrie is... Uh, Eloy's not going to uh, have penetrative sex with you. It's the other... Well, yeah, I know that, but I mean, like, Carrie is... Carrie's not a virgin. But it's fine. She had she had fox time. Yeah, I thought that fox was just um didn't have a dongle. Look, are we are we sex. using technical? Are we gonna go? Uh, no, gonna, no. Gonna go, gonna, gonna go. Gonna go. Does not count? She, she hasn't. She hasn't been blotted. I don't know. Uh, that's what she was holding to this entire time. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. You guys can Much can like. have yourselves an encounter. Well, okay. Much yeah. like uh, Uncleberry's jam, it's she's still popping fresh. <sighs> Ugh. Ugh, I just makes you feel filthy. <laughs> yeah. Let's let's get back to the inscribing. Oh, the sorry, then. you guys. Uh, yeah, there's some some spell casting being done. Uh, uh, Kino, would you like to describe the spell that you're casting? Yeah, sure. Well, I would describe it. Uh <laughs> well. It's a it's a it's a ten minute it's a it's a ritual you know there's lots of there's incense and chanting and uh, throughout it and a bit, about halfway through Madeline's going to pull out a uh, a metal rod with a end on it that's shaped like a heart and it's going to glow like a mix of like purples and pinks. And she's going to draw her finger, run her fingers over it, and then at the end, she's going to just line it up with you, and, and with Go your stump, with your stomach, and, and brand you with it. It's not going to uh, probably hurt too much, probably. Nervous, nervous voter going through. It's going to brand her with the tattoo. Nervous ruining. It's not a tattoo. It's a brand. I described it yeah, as a brand. Yeah, and be like, what the fuck are you? Are you like Chloe from Small Wars? I never... <sighs> Let's fucking brand people for a sex cult. I mean, hot. No, and the actress that did Chloe in the TV series Small Yeah, I know. Hot. She had yeah. a sex cult. Yeah. With her. Okay. This oh, is hot. Fantastic. I like it. Good on you. It's going, there's going to be a sensation of very intense, like, heat. And you're going to feel something, a little, like, hard something just kind of push against your skin. And then after a second, she's going to and then look down at it. Uh, is that a good? Like uh... mm, yes. Okay, so she's then gonna poke your gonna poke your your stomach. Hmm. I'll look down. Yep. What color is it? Um. It's probably it's in it's not being it hasn't it's just in its default state. So, uh it's either it's like a it's like a it's like a red color, like a red tattoo. So you mentioned they were supposed to. Do something with the miracle of life. I I had an idea of what it is, but uh, you want to clarify on that? Um, just a little. See, I've anchored a bunch of magic into you with this little pearl here. That's in that is kind of it's that's embedded inside of your skin here. Right. It's kind of like a piercing, I guess now, sort of. Um, what it is going to do is, if you run your fingers over it in a specific pattern, it's going to change the magical energies inside of it, and they're going to affect your body's fertility. You can turn it off and on, 
or if you do it in a very specific way, make it much stronger. So if you don't want to have any children, you turn it off. If you do, you turn it on. And if you really, really want them, you can supercharge it and all but guarantee yourself to have a child. Now, is it only I uh, doing the pat, uh, doing the motions on me do, uh, makes it like that, or yeah. is it anyone that knows the motions? I mean, I suppose if someone knows how to cast, and it's supposed to be able, someone knows how to cast the blessing, then they would be able to do it, I suppose. But it's you could, I'll you. You, you kind of cut out there what we were saying. You can do it. All right. Um, I'll try. I'll uh, show her the motions. Yeah. And just just follow. Just I'll draw them on myself. Just follow my fans. Yeah, and I will. This, uh, and this one does that. I will draw them on me and uh, try them out. See what happens. What kind of a uh, feels like internal blockage or feels like overflow goes on. And uh, does the tattoo change like a? color or anything like that when it doesn't when well, you or... when you turn it off it fades to a light into just like a very faint almost like very faded looking tattoo it's almost only just a little bit there and when you turn it on it goes into like a full like bright like colored tattoo and then when you make the motion to power it up it like starts to glow like a Deep, like a bright blood red color. Nice. It's a it's a very cute design. I like it. Yes. And I think uh, this would be very successful. Yeah. And she'll um uh, do the motions to turn it to basically off again, so that we don't have to worry about children. Since it's successful, I think I'm going to be giving it to myself. And I think I'm definitely going, and I'm definitely going to talk to Carrie, see Carrie about. Definitely, she probably needs it the most. Yeah. It's okay. We're going to mend our aisle next day. Don't do that. Yeah. It's true. They don't want to get full Ragnarok. It is a bit expensive, I suppose. It does require. A uh, pearl to make in order to anchor it. Mm. Don't pick at it, by the way, for the la for the first few days. I will definitely not pick at it. I follow I follow commands very well. Good. Guess this okay. means uh, you're in control of uh, whether I have children in the future. Then. I mean, you can. Hmm. Maybe. If I put it on myself, then yes. To be honest, I think I kind of like having you be uh, in control of a little bit of me. Uh, really? Just a tad. Hmm. Mm, indeed. All right. I think this is a point to continue to Manda Isle so that we can call it clear. Yes, that's good. Yeah. Well, Tumanda. we don't have to call it to a close early unless you're not feeling it, because winter doesn't have work today. I know winter doesn't, but I just have a crap headache. Blame uh, spring. Uh, yeah. Blame blame the uh, turning of seasons and the hateful sky orb. I do blame uh, it. Uh, okay. That does suck. No. It does. It fucking blows. And I'd like. Fucking before the game started, sneeze, just blood everywhere. It sucks. Yeah, I remember oh, that. You were it saying. blows like your nose. It does. It really does. Anyway. So, your preparations for Salamalalanda Isle. Uh, Athia already prepared for everyone some nice, warm, magical cloaks. Uh, what other preparations do you make? Like they're pressed to take to stay warm on all of you. And there's little blankets to throw over the horses as well, and over the moose if it so wants it. What about my polar bear? 
I imagine polar, polar bear, bear is going to be okay. <laughs> you think? The polar bear is fucking okay. He'll probably be fine. Now, if it was a rhino, he'd need uh, so much warm weather clothing. <laughs> Maddie has been showing down on, well, a lot of fatty foods and... She she trying, trying to get bulked up. Yeah, yeah, she's trying to put on the fucking winter, winter layer. It's a good call right there. Uh... Yes, yeah, sir. So. Yeah. So she, I'll up her weight by at least 10 pounds. Nice. You can chow down like fucking crazy while you work. Oh, yeah. There are some people like, like are you sure you're okay? Are you like ill or something? But they're like, oh, no, she's going up north. She doesn't want to freeze to fucking death. Yeah. Just yeah. 10 pounds of pure skin fat, so. Yeah. She is. She is uh, not puffy, but she's. She's I'm got like brown and she's, looking and everything. Yeah, she's a little paunchy now. Yeah, squeezable cheeks and everything, like you know, a hamster. Yeah. And yeah, um, you made your your winter preparations, so far as I am aware, and you can make your way to the port from which you can get a boat, and that boat will take you to Salamander Isle. Now, the travel to the Draconic Port itself isn't an issue for you. It's a short journey. It's it's well-traveled. And we lost someone. Oh, no. Welcome back. Hey, people can hear me? Yep. Yeah. All right. Uh, internet went out for a bit. I'm just on a phone listening. Okay. That is fine. Uh, like, it's a commonly traveled road up to the Draconic Port itself. You can arrive there and... There's no problem, but as you do so, it gets a bit colder. There's you're running out of any kind of like tree cover. There's a lot of flat ground, like from this portion here. That the like the layer of the freelands and the woods that surround it generally protect it from getting miserably chilly. Uh, and there's like a natural shelf here at the barrow dens, but like this route up to the draconic port is quite bare and windy and open. Uh, and when you get to the port, it is like a silver ahead to just like clamber onto the next ferry going from spot to spot. They can take caravans and they can take like steeds as well if you're willing to put in two silver per because they're just, you know, a bunch larger. <laughs> so you want to take off from the room one of six, seven, eight, and then how much, 15? How much is 15 the 15 silver total? How much is the ferry passage? Just for a person? Silver ahead. Silver ahead. Alright. Alright, there we go. Back online with their net. I dismiss my polar bear. Sure, you save two silver. Excellent. So uh, I saw I seen Chad there that server went to find me. What was up with that? Oh, she was just gonna ask if you wanted to play a game. I always said uh, you really like it. Uh, okay. Great. Come upstairs. Okay. To be fair, you know what that means when it comes from LOA. Yeah, but it isn't coming from LOA, though. This is coming from Carolyn. She, she, she just said LOA said you would like it. Yeah, but I mean, it's, it's still Carolyn. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so Gary's just going to take you out to the room and then just drop Trow and reveal the giant uh, device. Big, like, colon D face wagging tail. Okay, uh. I assume you want to put that up me. Uh huh. Yeah, uh, you. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, no. Oh, oh, right. <laughs> okay. That was. <laughs> Athia.exe cannot be found. Look, <laughs> system, 30, system 30 room was deleted. In return, <laughs> this, in return for this, you need to uh, visit Madden later and uh, get a special spell done on you. Oh, did she like this game too? No. Well, she's gonna like when I introduce it to her. <laughs> oh. oh, don't put the Aussie charm on it. Oh. I have spells for that. Hey, no, no. LOA did leave like tons of oils and yeah, carried actually... you how to eat. I know. Yeah, I know. Alright. That happened at some point before they left. But they made it to two ports. The ferry itself takes eh, like twenty minutes, honestly. It's not a long journey up there. 
Well, not 20 minutes, sorry. Um, hour 20. You just coast on up leisurely pace along the water. And you land off at a port, and you are instantly struck by, like, a bracing of chill wind, colder than most of you have ever felt. Like, this is definitely the coldest that uh, Caridwen has ever felt. Uh, and when you look out, there are... You can see in a straight line for quite a long ways. There aren't really much in the way of hills. There are some dotted forests, but the trees within are dead. It's, um... Yeah, it's just also the ground here is darker. You can see, like, mixed into, like, a normal snowy ground is, like, brittle chunks of obsidian. You'd been told a reasonable amount about the place. So you, you know you knew to expect it to be miserable and cold, hence your preparations. And then you can briefly follow the road, and that will take you up to a place called Broken Tooth Village. Has a cute little handout and a map. Doot! Which we'll show you before we call it here. That so Broken familiar. Tooth Village is a self-sustained village. It is more it's close enough to a small town. The buildings are sturdy and modular. They're built of stone and fire-resistant wood. The eternal, the internal floors are similarly made of stone that has been sculpted and carved, uh, and any expensive wood are covered in, like, an almost a carpet of this moss called fire moss. It's known for being fire retardant, which is useful because everyone here has fire on their tail. It's usually cold, salty, miserable rain. But we'll roll what weather it really is next session and see what you guys have to deal with. From here, they produce shamanistic goods, so like um, fetishes and totems, amulets, that kind of thing. Uh, they have some measure of rare foods, like they grow some rather interesting like underground mushrooms. Uh, and they have, you know, like very classic tribal weapons that probably aren't of an interest to you guys directly. For the past couple of decades, Broken Tooth has been full of like young blood salamanders. Uh, around here, because they're all, you know, technically immortal, they don't produce like another generation for a while. And then when they do, they that usually heralds the elders, quote unquote, you know, leaving. Uh, they go off and pass on. And this basically ensures that Broken Tooth Village remains as self-sustaining as ever. Uh, the elders, uh, they tend to have like one one oldest person who takes up the role of an elder who will last for multiple generations to make sure that everyone stays well taught. Uh, and even that elder has been moved on to his previous apprentice's role. Uh, ever since, you know, the whole cold north thing has you know transformed and changed like there's been an increase in trade that made it to broken tooth village so they have like much nicer food than they used to and actual like plumbing in some places and like better outdoor plumbing by a long shot but otherwise it's still freezing cold not that you can tell by the inhabitants the inhabitants are like a whole bunch of young charming semi-nubile individuals who are warm all the fucking time they tend to wear like either coats or capes and that's about it uh, unless they you know are girded for battle as it were a number of them have like very tribal styled leather armors and it is somewhere on this island that there are monsters to hunt to help these lovely individuals out yes woo and it's at that point, my lovely dears, that we're going to call the session to an end. Okay. Next session, I get to meet my sister again. We yep. Manders. The one day we could run long was the one day English weather decided to kill Scow. What do you mean yeah. the one day English weather did? It's been shit for like a week and a half now. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Goddamn weather. Um, sorry to hear it. Winter just, really is the best season. Should just live in Dyson Spears. <laughs> oh, man. I, I would... I want to live oh, in a Dyson sphere, just as long as Scotty doesn't uh, get trapped on the outside of my hole for like sixty. What's your name? You like winter because you're in the you know tropical south. Yes, I I know you live in uh, freeze fuckistan. <laughs> <laughs>
but I live in California, which is a Mediterranean climate, so winter is amazing. Yeah, winter's good for you. Be Fuck winter, though. Be 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 before we get lost away in that, um, experience. Maybe you guys made some. We did make a, a new friend. I mean, at least Kellen. Given yeah. his, given by his L let's, tips. Let's, let's do this in order. Did you explore a new or interesting location? Uh, no, you, no. You haven't explored this place. Did you discover a new and interesting truth about the world? We did. The, the, the raven thing. The, yeah, the raven uh, queen servants. They yeah. literally come to this planet. Yeah. Yeah, good job, uh, Eddie. Did you make a new ally or a lasting enemy? Kill Absolutely. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we, we fully rescued our uh, our friend. I actually offered her, and I, I I must have been missed in the chat, but I did offer her an invite to come with us. Oh, no, yeah, he wanted. To, oh, yeah, he wanted yeah, to take still. her on. I uh, didn't you say you were gonna try to take her on a date inside the? Um, oh yeah, no, they burned inside... down. Yeah. See. Yeah. Um. Okay. Sure. Uh, did you advance or complete a quest? Yeah, you you've handed in your quest. It's done. And you've made your way to this next one here as well, and you've prepared for it. And did you neutralize any direct threats? No. So this is a three experience session. Hold on. We we permanently took out that uh, that barrow this time and made sure that the whites weren't coming back. But they were never a direct threat. Oh, uh, no. Yeah. 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 I guess they didn't leave the barrow for her. Yeah. Womp, womp. yeah they, were, they were never at any, any point a direct threat. Fair enough. So... We get three. Yep. yep. All right, that should put you at 79. Yeah. Nice. I'm caught up. That's, that feels oh, so good. At 79. Yeah. What do um, paladins get at six level? Uh, R of protection. I give you advantage yeah, on stuff. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, I'm not sure if I want to go further into paladin, though. I have all of the smites I will basically ever get. Fighter? Uh, more like barbarian, really. Ah, you're gonna learn from me then. Cause yeah, like the next time I get, I'll get one additional second level spell, and then I won't get anything until ninth in terms of smitings. You should take a bard since you're being trained in slot. Yeah, yeah apparently. You should take a bard. Oh god, should I though? Hey, I could teach you how to bard. Okay. I mean, he's sure already been to taught how to bard by the barbarian, admittedly. The though, barbarian, you mean? No, I'm not sure how well Bard mixes with Paladin. I know it mixes amazingly with Dang. Warlock. They're both Charisma Casters, and Bard gives uh... me a lot more spell slots, so... Yep. Oh, okay. Yeah, fair enough. Anyway. I'm gonna disappear and make myself some food. If you've been watching in the stream, you've been watching in the VOD, I hope as usual that you have yourselves a lovely motherfucking good time, and please do take care. And remember, there's no Mercy Hammer tonight, so we'll see you on Monday. Adios.